Hi, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Hey, don't lie, that was that was better than a drop of a song. You didn't need a drop of a song, you just needed that. Drop of a song. You just wanted me to pop up. I knew what you wanted deep down. So you're watching this, it says study for your midterms. Hey, study for your midterms, okay? Get your freaking degrees and right, so you can end up with like you know i i got my degrees look where it led me i play video games for a living dang it sorry wait no i play video games and watch soccer for a living i'm trying kind of we're going up lads i think we might be that was weird yeah i lose i don't know who would do something like that definitely wouldn't be me wouldn't be me This is my three hour break. I'll study later, leave me alone. Miuni, sorry, if it's your break, it's your break. I'm a big fan of procrastinating. I'm a big fan of breaks. Lyndon Ranny, thank you for the 24. I mean, I didn't stream yesterday. I, I was feeling pretty sick yesterday. I feel better today. I still got the gunk in my throat, but like, I feel better today. I feel, I, I, I feel like promotion. What was that, dude? Oh. I have the capture on. Oops. Let's try that again. Here's Zealand. There's Zealand. That was so much smoother. I had something else that was drawing encoding power open on my computer. Chris Sabia, thank you for the 15 months. Leisure Wave, thanks to the five. Barry, thank you for the five. Berman Goosey, thank you for the prime. 
Thargoff, thank you for the 15. Marshy, thank you so much for the tier one. Rosalie, thanks for the three months. Murph, thank you for the 13. Nade Shiko Kaga, thank you for the 11 months. Evan, thank you for the 23 months. And Aviap, thank you for the three. Big Tucker, I see you with the 10. Can't decide where to do my long-term save. You got to start somewhere else. You never get to play, Tom. Thank you for the four. Drama, thank you for the three. Big Tucker, I appreciate it. Stay annoyed with a huge 16 months. Special K, welcome to the Hammer. Thanks for the prime. <laughs> Jeff Bezos can't buy a new yacht because of you. Lambie, thank you for the prime in the 19 months. Hope you're feeling better, Z. Don't I am. Behind you. I am. Town. This badge doesn't look English. Whatever, dude. You know who would say that? A fake English person. All right, this is what the this is what the league looks like. 12 games to go. Three points separate the top five teams. What more could you want? Drama, insanity. This is what it's all about. All I want to point out, we have more wins than anybody else in the league. We just have a real inability to draw matches. We start against the worst team in the league, Dover Athletics. So we should be able to make things spicy early. We've got a nice little break here. Tonbridge Angels after this. Matt, thanks to the seven. The seven months do go by extremely fast. Train, thank you for the 23 months. Goodness, you're about to hit Diamond Bacon. I don't even know what we'll do for that. Can we see the XG table of justice? Sure, actually, before we go into this, let's take a look at the XG table. We are right where we're supposed to be. We're in fourth. We're supposed to be in fifth based off XG, so that's really not that bad. Screw you, haven't in Waterville. This is, but Waterlooville is supposed to be right next to us, dude. What is this nonsense? We're supposed to have eight more points. Absplate's the one that's getting screwed. The most, right? Or no, we have eight more points than we're supposed to. I don't know. We're supposed to be we're basically right where we are in the group of top teams. So we've earned it. No cheese, no cheddar. Right? No cheddar. All right, sorry. Hey! Hey, YouTube! How are you doing, YouTube? Welcome to the stream. It was like, uh, it, it was more of an R&B remake. Hi, YouTube. Welcome to the stream. I'm glad you could join us. Uh, even though you couldn't be here live, I want you to know you're a valued part of this community. The Peacock save hasn't even started yet, and we're already finishing the first season. Peacock save hasn't even started in the live channel yet, but we are we are catching up. We just uh, we fell way behind at the start of the at the start of the World Cup edits, but you know World Cup edits are almost done. You know we've only got one group left to go. You know what that means? Four days until the World Cup starts. So that's what I'm freaking talking about. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Four days until the World Cup starts. Four days. Do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. I'll fix something there. All right, get our team set. Uh, we need our starting center backs. That'd be Matthews and Jake Wannell. Not Richardson, definitely not Richardson. Fulston. And we almost signed that other good right back, but that other good right back didn't want to play for us. So it's Dan Ball, Matthews, Wannell, Fulston, Jack Bycroft, Paris, Lee Lucas, Zach Smith, Ross Stern, uh, McCooty, and McGiff. We're going to start McCooty. Now we'll start Thompson and put McCooty in if we need. options are white meat, chicken, or German sausage. I'm sat right at the back, though. I'm hoping for the breast, but preparing myself for the worst. Boo! 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 A minus. That was an A minus dad joke. That was good stuff. That was absolutely good stuff. <sighs> okay. Morgan, Leloa James, Joe Ling, Kaimani Hunter. All right. Worst team in the league. You know what that means? We win these. It means we win these. First match the stream, worst team in the league. 12 matches to go in the league. We are two points off the top in a five horse race for one automatic spot. It smells like promotion. 
Out there and puts on a worthy display, lads of Totten Town. Wow, we're in terrible form when we ended the stream on Friday. Goodness. Fumbling away. Ah, well, it was a ton of fixture congestion. It's because we're still in the uh, FA Vaz, the FA Trophy, and these losers aren't losers. Does your ad to the unwanted list or development list work? I don't know. I haven't been able to. I, I, I haven't been able to test it. I haven't looked at that yet. Callum, thank you for the 19. And congrats on your A minus. It was a good. Uh, it was good. It was good. It's good. It's good. On rocks. Thanks for the year. Who's the star of your team? Nick McCootie, baby. The Coots. That was actually a sensational free kick from that distance by Felston. Yo. Oh, Lee. Nice. Stern. He's got options. Can't find them. Oh, what a pass by Lee Lucas. Stern, he gets he, he gets injured. What a dirty team. What a dirty team. Taking out Ross Stern because they're afraid What's of what he might do. In -laws and outlaws. outlaws are wanted. Seconds Twitch fading. Hope you're having a good day. <laughs> Let me go B plus on that one. That was good though. Full stand. Oh, come on, Thompson. The double deflection. The double wall pass cross from Thompson. It's inspired. Both of our shots are direct free kicks from Fulston. Now it's Fulston from the corner. I'm looking for Jake Wannell or Thompson. Thompson's a big lad. Steve, thank you for the 18 though. Appreciate it. V, thanks for the prime. Henri with the 26 months. Oh my goodness. Hey Zed, what do you want to name our third? We've made a good start to this game. I'm thinking yeah, I think you're right. Morgan, shoot it! First time, son. Yeah, I think it's coming home to Costa Rica, actually. I think you made a nice, you've got a nice choice there, Bomb Plays. Thompson. Ball. He's got Thompson. He's got McGiff! Augustus McGiff, the American, from Thompson, who has won the header spectacularly. It's route one. It's beautiful. Mike Bassett, 4-4-2. Four, four, Football at its finest. Augustus McGiff. And Thompson, once again, showing his worth. Ball, Zach Smith. Oh, dang it. Come on, Paris. You're there. Literally waiting for him to take that touch. Matthews. Perfect. Smith on the gallop. It's Zach Smith. It's still Smith. It's Smith all the way. It's Todd Downs. Zach Smith. From Matthews over the top. Football heritage. Intact. Zach Smith. Excellent touch there. No questions to be asked. Don't don't say anything about the touch. It was exactly where he wanted it to be. Okay, exactly where he wanted it to be. Full stand. Oh! Heavens, Folston with a beaut, and it's 3 0. You don't look like Folston to me. Oh, I thought that was him. <sighs> you, don't, you don't look like Folston to me. Not from there. That's my left back in the National League South hitting a banger. 
That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hold the door. That's the only thing that kept me upright there. How did we not get to that ball? I don't know. <sighs> nice, Morgan. McGiff. Dylan Morgan. Honestly, he had a good start to the season. He hasn't been good in like months. Best first touch Waddle's taken his entire life. Right there. Uh, that was the best. Swear six in two months. Paris. Well, that was poor. But that was good. That's what Paris does. Matthews. It's good. That's good. I love that play. I love that play. Loft it on up there. Come on, Paris. Thanks for all the great content. He's got to be off, surely. He is. Flags up. Flags up. Flags up. Everybody chill. Saint Nicholas. Oh, come on. Saint Nicholas. F. No. Yes. Saint Nicholas from Mike. Thank you for the. Thank you for the eight months. Fossilized. Thanks for the two. How was, oh, we stole the header immediately. Smith, nice pass. Thompson, oh, unlucky. Thompson does have, yeah, I don't think he has a goal with his feet yet. He has multiple goals with his head. Well, that's kind of the goal. Score it! It's Fulston after all. It's what he, you know, he is National League messy. Oh, Lucas Thompson! Oh, that would have been right on cue. Whoa, a thousand bits. Dutch, thank you. If so, any I have thoughts? not. Also, have you been using a different camera angle? I'm watching on a 48 inch screen and I'm squinting to see the players even with my reading glasses on low. I don't think so, but maybe we didn't adjust our zoom the way we should have. Let me check. Rooting for the promotion today. Now our zoom's at 125. Now it should be the same angle. I think your eyes are just deteriorating, Dutch. I want to watch the FIFA documentary. I've just we've record I've recorded a video every day for like 31 days now. So, uh, Bibraria, thank you for the prime. Rooting for the promotion, dude. Come on, up the peacocks. Come on. Very happy the way things are going. Obviously, we're up three 0 We're up three 0 Dover Athletics never seen anything like Folston. We actually played Dover Athletic twice. We haven't played the worst team in the league at all this year. We play them twice consecutively because I think one of our cup matches got them rescheduled in the first half of the season. So 12 matches left, but two were against the worst team in the league. And we've made them look like mince meat. McGuffin, thank you for the seven months. Appreciate it. Let's go Dark Horse Canada. Look, I, I, I'm sure you watched our World Cup preview video on uh, on Canada. Oh, oh, Zach. Ah. But Canada is this dichotomy between their current form and literally everything else we know about the team, right? Uh, they, that run that they had where they won, I think it was like seven of eight in World Cup qualifying, that should have been a goal. Uh, is one of the most remarkable runs I've ever seen. Them in Costa Rica had some of the most incredible run. Honestly, if I had to pick out the most incredible qualifications, like surprise qualifications, Costa Rica, Canada, and Ecuador. Ecuador had some crazy, like their, Ecuador had some crazy results. Nice, parrot. Oh, we're on the break. Ah. Oh. That's all right, Smith. Just keep running. Ref! Ref! Oh, he's not even going for the ball, that lad. He's, he's going, oh, what's he doing? Isn't Fonzie injured? No, he's supposed to be able to play. Costa Rica. No, I'm, I'm not talking about like... When I say most surprising qualifications, I don't mean like based off their history. Obviously, Costa Rica's got great history. Um, I'm talking about their uh, like 
their t uh, Canada, it's also their history, but the team, like Costa Rica won. Some of you guys didn't watch the Costa Rica World Cup preview and it shows. <laughs> Costa Rica won one of their first seven matches in World Cup qualifying and then won six of seven in the second half. Costa Rica had 19 points in the last seven matches of qualifying. They went from like second to last to almost qualifying automatically. Get blocked, son! I have not watched Tifo's World Cup videos yet, no. I've seen that they're doing a series. I don't necessarily know what the series would be about, but I'm sure I will watch it at some point. I always find my way to every Tifo video. There's like a few YouTube channels where I will watch literally everything that's posted on it. Tifo's one of them. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, run. Run, lots. Nice. Didn't even have to make a single sub. Probably should have brought Wannell out, but we're okay. Bye, Croft. Chill, dude. Chill. Why would you do that? Jax, thank you for the 10. They're doing a tactical analysis of every team. Love that. They're, I'm better suited for the history and personnel, and they're definitely better suited for the tactics. So if we combine forces. That's how you start a stream hey, looking for promotion right there. The That's how you channel. start that stream. Yes. Keep up the good work. Yes. I look forward to armchair history in 2024. Ha ha, JK. I love the guys at TIFO. You won't catch me saying a bad word outside of TIFO, but I love burying my head in the international sand and doing like the historical research and that sort of stuff. I watch, you know, African World Cup qualifiers. The lowest I, I, I watch, uh, like all the extended highlights of all the Asian Cup matches three years ago, I mean, I am in the weeds, you know? I know the media have been positive about it. By the way, India. Huh. While we're on the topic of the Asian Cup three years ago, India won a match emphatically. Five to one. I think it was against Vietnam. Who was it against? It was against Vietnam. Five to one is like India's greatest result in 70 years. Very nice victory. Back to winning ways with a 3-0 win. Incredible. Finally made a stream after being a YouTube fan of yours for ages. Great to be here. Shane, welcome. Can we all welcome Shane? Seriously, welcome. But their video about how Qatar got the World Cup is great. That is what they're really, really good at. Is doing that kind of research. I really want to watch that. Just came from watching the Cameroon video. What'd you think? I don't, I don't think they're going to have a very pleasant World Cup, to be honest with you. I, I don't. Definitely not for Ellen Lord. Thanks to the Prime. Roadrunner, I appreciate 13 months as well. Look forward to Armchair History in 2024. I do as well. Yeah, I'm, look, I'm looking forward to the next episode of Armchair History somewhere in the deep future. Oh, twisted ankle three to four weeks, but it is only February and I only have 11 league matches left to play. So I'm imagining there will be some time to rest for Ross Stern and he'll hopefully be back sooner rather than later. Tonbridge Angels up next. What's up? Thank you guys for welcoming Shane. When's the Portuguese video coming? Well, if you figured it out at this point, <gasps> he signed. James Clark. Man, I can't wait to have actually good players. Did you hear Sting was kidnapped? The police have no lead. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was a good one. Get it, because police have, have no lead. A minus. We're going A minus on the dad joke. Greetings, Lord Zealand. Greetings, Omer. 
Welcome to the stream. Tom, thank you for the four buds. Oh. So you disagree with Samuel Atto's Morocco versus Senegal or Morocco versus uh, Cameroon finals? Yeah, I do. I got no issue with anybody backing their country to win the World Cup, though. Why not? For the seventh time last month. He's clearly not shooting blanks. Too dark? Yeah, probably. I roll for me. I'm all for making fun of Alec Baldwin, but when somebody dies, you know. I generally would sidestep it. I have a familiar face or two around, but we'll make sure he's given a warm welcome. Uh, we want to make sure long-term goals happen. We have to improve. We have to bring in players like James. I agree. James Clark! James! Prince Henry? What has the royal family got to do with any of this? What are you doing here, Prince Henry? Joe Nightingale? Look at the Taunton Town Twitter. Another piece of art is waiting for you. Oh, goodness. Taunton Town's Twitter account, one of my favorite follows now. I don't actually tweet when I go live or anything, but Taunton Town apparently does. Oh, dude. I feel like they've done me a disservice here. I mean, like, they, I mean, my calves are even juicier than that. They've literally just added me. That's Nat Jarvis, I think. They've just added me to, like, a substitution scene. Oh, yeah, have it. Oh, what's going on? They've just added... Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Boom. I look good. I look good. Uh, my head's a little... Uh, I, that, that... Okay, let's be perfectly honest. That is a life-size depiction of the size of my head all right i mean it's like it is harry kane peyton manning gervinho and me that's a life size wow, that's a life size months. depiction let's stop because pretending like it's not right you say my head looks a little too large well i say you're wrong uh done my calves a disservice here there we go uh, those are my true feelings I had to learn I can just drag it off screen now. I don't actually have to tab in and tab out like it's my job. It has to carry that big brain, yes. Oh, has he, buddy? Thank you for the 14. And uh, Jorginho with the 15. That the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Lovely lady, but a terrible surgeon. <sighs> What's the line from, um... Oh, what is the line from Big Bang Theory where it's like, you just make him casserole every day. He'll love you till the day he dies at 60 years old. Something like that. I ascribe to that. Joe Bud now dictates tempo. Wow, that's going to be great for the team he plays for next year that's not us. Really looking forward to that for him. When's the Italy World uh, Cup preview coming? From an England fan? Yeah, you can chirp while you want. Hey, you know what's amazing? Italy had the, I think it is third or fourth longest streak ever of consecutive World Cups that was ended in 2018. And, and now they've missed two straight. When I'm like 75 years old and I'm sitting there and I'm like, Come here, you, uh, you, you huddle around, grandchildren. What? Well, I don't know how to be a granddad. Anyways, you have that. Wait, hold on. Kai, Kai's on. Kai wants to go somewhere. Kai, no, resign your contract here. It's okay. Um. Yeah. So, I'm going to be explaining how Italy missed consecutive World Cups, and I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Right, because Come some idiot like I am now is going to be on Wikipedia like, how did they miss the World Cup 50 years ago? And I'm going to be sitting there like, well, there was this country called North Macedonia. A 
up the peacocks, only one month till the birth of little Kvitcha. Only one month until the birth of little Kvitcha Kvaditschkelia. Beautiful. Was in the tradition of Alexander the Great, Macedonia has been reconquered. I honestly said was because you know how much that part of the map's changed in the last 20 years. We need some longevity before I assume you're not going to change again, okay? We need some... Settle down. All right? Dylan Morgan. Everybody's fit. McCoody's in for Thompson, and we got our team ready to rock and ready to roll. Um... I want to try Leloid James in this one. Jay Folston, Dan Ball. Where's our guy? James Clark. James Clark. I actually don't really have any wing subs, so James Clark is my wing sub. Got it. Uh, Harry Warwick. Thompson can play. He can play a little center mid. A little bit. Okay. All ye, if you ha. Shannon, what? What are the realistic expectations for the U.S. at the World Cup? We're winning the whole thing. Robarazzi, thank you for the eight months. Mbesh thanks to the 16. I just, I, I think it's fascinating because you always look at teams really except for Brazil and Germany and you're like, well, how did they miss the World Cup, right? Like England doesn't, it, England isn't top five in longest streaks at the World Cup ever. They miss too. Like it, everybody misses. The Dutch just missed. And then there's teams like South Korea's made 10 straight World Cups. I filmed the South Korea video today. They made 10 straight World Cups. 10 straight. Since 1986, South Korea has been at every World Cup and they haven't even won an Asian Cup in that time. How do you do that? If the US makes it to the round of 16, I'd say that's like the expected average, but we should get out of the group. We'll be disappointed if we don't. They say AFC is not great, then why haven't they won an Asian Cup? South Korea's last Asian Cup was 1960. They've made 10 straight World Cups. Nobody else has done that. Qatar won the last Asian Cup, and they got to their first World Cup because they're hosting. And it's just weird. It's a mystery. Life's a mystery, and so is the South Korean national team. Most cons One of the most consistent qualifying teams of all time. No hiccups. No crazy upset. Up, 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 Bycroft, nice punch. No, 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 Bycroft's back in his goal. We're fine now. Yeah, three blocks. Getting away. The Tonbridge Angels. The Tonbridge Angels away. Yeah, we beat them last time. We bet the bridge on the game. So we are technically Taunton Town Bridge, and they're just Taun. So like, uh, they're, they're trying to win their bridge back, which like, I understand their determination there, but I just feel like we deserve the bridge more because, you know, we earned it. That's it. Dang it, Clark. Oh, yeah, Fulston. Dang it, Fulston. Uh, yeah, that's over. Okay, I am actually... I'm going to do something startling at this level, and I'm... No, I'm going to fullback on attack James Clark. He's built athletically to be a fullback on attack. He knows deep down in his soul that he's supposed to be a fullback on attack. That was a beautiful kick. I... He, Bycroft is a revelation. 
He's so much better than we should have at goalkeeper. Revelation. Yeah, Fulz today at the duality of man with Jay Folston. I mean, he scored a free kick. <gasps> Bakuni! Oh, what a touch! Oh, how do you miss by that much? That was wide open. Augustus, if he'd scored that, I wouldn't have thought it was a beautiful hit. Bakuni with an interpretive route to get you the ball. Paris. Oh, Paris. Good ball. Dylan Morgan! Oh, how's that gone in? How's it gone in for Todd Town? It's Dylan Morgan! Kevin, thanks for the seven. Rufio, thank you for the three. It's Dylan Morgan. What a goal. Brings it down on the short hop. Sneaks it by Burn. What a goal. Harris just gave him a chance with that floated ball. The guy missed the aerial. It just it just worked out. Oh, what a pass by McGiff. McCooty. Nick. Oh, that hit the post. <laughs> I was parried into the post. McCooney crushed that ball. Said, so to be fair, last three or four Asian Cups have been hosted in hot. Oh, yes! Hold that thought. I want the bridge. I want the bridge. Jake Waddle from Lord James. boy Matthews so you're saying the last three or four Asian Cups were held in hot places and South Korea's players weren't ready I mean, yeah that matters but I just I'm stunned South Korea hasn't won an Asian Cup since 1960 especially after researching their team they got quality man like Lee Jae Sung from Mines I know I knew about Hwang Yi Chan I knew about Sun Young Min I forgot I'd forgotten about Lee Jae Sung I love Kim Min Jae the center back at Napoli Bring back the stash. I got to grow out a beard for a while and then shave the beard off. I cannot comfortably grow out a stash without looking disturbing. This has been an excellent start to the stream. The win against Dover Athletic at home, which we needed. I mean, they were the worst team in the league. We had to get that and figure it out. Will you just run? Yeah, look at Clark. Dude, speed is the only thing that matters at this level. Speed and strength and size. Clark is a terrible defender, but he just snuffed that entire attack out because he's so much faster than the guy trying to control the ball. Okay, get that. Oh, I don't know if that could have gone in. I think we might have blocked it, but that was unsettling. Bycroft. McCooty. Good header. Forcing the keeper to play it. Wannell. Oh, Wannell. He'd won that header, Wannell. And you are very good at winning headers. Oh, Lee Lloyd. Paris. Great work, Paris. Nothing bad ever happened because you hit the ball that far up the field. I'll do, I'll, oh, hit it! Shoot! No! Dylan! Oh, Dylan! <sighs> Dylan! It was open. Trust yourself, Dylan. Let it fly, Dylan. Lee Kong, uh, uh, Lee Kong in. I... Didn't hype him up as much. Not quite as much. The national team doesn't hype him up either. He doesn't feature in the team as much as any of the guys that I've mentioned. Uh-oh. Thank you. Wannell, you got to be there. Can't be giving up those free headers. We actually not had the momentum in this match for the majority. We've just, I think, defended well, and we've executed our tactic perfectly. Just run, Clark. Nice. Oh, Paris. What a play by Paris, Vegas and Clark gets it up again. will give his money away. Here is my little way of making sure you get five bucks. Next one is a year. 
Thanks, Tesselante. Yeah, Pesos did go. He did say, like, I'm giving all of my wealth away to Casey, bringing humanity together. Hope and I'm like, you're all feeling right. well today. The world can be a very weird and difficult place, and it takes a lot of bravery to put yourself out there and share with others. For that, I commend you and look forward to seeing you grow. Thank you, sir. I'm going to take James Clark, put him up at winger, and bring in Dan Ball. Fulston. You're hanging out for now. Augustus McGeff, we're going to take him out for Thompson, and we're just going to go twin uh, the, the two towers of power up top. The towers of power. Honestly, Elliot, feels like uh, I've been in front of people like my whole life, so it's not something that really weighs on me anymore. That was fortunate. Where's the... <sighs> Yeah. All right, that's what I was checking. I want to take the close down on Dylan Gavin off because he's a target forward who's going to hold up for the wings to make the run inside, and we just don't want to let that open up for them. The Towers of God's Power, yes. I tried getting into this game a couple years ago. It overwhelmed me. Want to try again? Any tips for figuring it out? Uh, so you actually, that sounds exactly like me. And obviously I have gone down a bit of a rabbit hole since uh, I finally figured out how to play the game. So I can promise you it's worth it. I did make his whole series called FM for Beginners. Uh, and it really, it picks the game up and walks you through each section as you look at it. But what you need to understand is if there's anything in the game that you don't want to deal with, there is a staff responsibilities section and you can just assign your staff to handle it like scouting for example right that can be a big overwhelming part of the game that you don't want to deal with you don't have to you assign your staff to do it come on makuti come on makuti yes <laughs> nicholas makuti the seventh like lightning up the peacocks from Fulston. Just keep lofting the ball forward. Eventually it falls for somebody. Great finish by Nick McCooney. Yes! But like I was saying, staff responsibilities can take control of that. You can use preset tactics that are not going to be bad. Uh, and they have the little things that highlight if you don't want to have to look at all of the attributes, right? Because that can be overwhelming. They have the little things that can highlight just the attributes relevant for that position. And so it can help focus your eyes on what you're looking at. Not not relevant because they're all relevant, but like the, the most important attributes for that position and role. Uh, and so it, it can really simplify the game. You use a preset tactic, have your staff handle all the things and then, and then learn those things. Over. What a shot. Learn those things over time. That's the best way to get into it say like well now i'm gonna try and figure out scouting and mess with scouting a little bit and then i of course i've made tutorials about that sort of stuff that you can you can check out great win for taunton town we are hot right now we played our game to a t they had a lot of pressure we had the bodies in the way we hit a few of those counter attacks scored a set piece goal the peacocks are flying i'm very happy that, that was a perfect game from us it's exactly what we're here to do that was exact. Oh, come on. Now Braintree and Haven't Waterloo are just winning every game. When was that a thing? Now we're all just winning every time. <sighs> Breezy, thank you for the 21 months. Elliot, I do appreciate the five. Yeah, set the responsibilities, uh, all the assist, uh, all of the staff responsibilities, hand them away, we do. and then you just take control of tactics and picking your team. We love you. <laughs>
Oh, up the peacocks. Up the peacocks. Tommy Scott trial coming to an end. That's a shame. Kai Knight has signed a new... Yes, chat. <laughs> Kai Knight is staying a peacock. Signs a new non-contract deal to stay a part of our team. Happy to have you. Um... So we have Hampton and Richmond Borough. When's our cup match? We should... Oh, it's next, actually. Hampton and Richmond Borough, and then we have the FA Trophy quarterfinal against Bromley, and it's away. So we just... We keep playing our system. We keep playing our system. Oh, now I'm not allowed to have any scouts? Well, that's mean. Well, guess what? I already have scouts on my team. And you can't fire them. I'd like to schedule an extension to uh, Bycroft's loan, please. Obviously. High extend loan. Dang it. They don't want to extend the Bycroft loan. We're going to have to figure out a goalkeeper for next season, I think. I want to be very public with my desire to keep that guy as our goalkeeper. That makes me sad. Keeping shortlisted players up to date eats away at your scouting budget. Obviously. Are we keeping shortlisted players up to date? Ew, dang it. Yeah, we're out of scouting budget. We should be. I'd be shocked if we weren't. Anyways, not supposed to be doing that, but... I don't think it really matters either way. It's not like our scouting is uh, crazy productive. Oops. Did I do that? Get out of here. Get out of here. Nobody likes you, gay. Get out of here. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. Go away. Go away. Dan Smith. Looking cool. Looking spiffy, bud. Look. Oh, no, 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 no. Dan, you didn't tell me that you don't like big matches, Dan. You didn't tell me that. Dan. Dan you didn't tell me either. You all don't like big matches. We don't play in any big matches. Not yet. We're Taunton Town. Future best club in the world. Guardian Leviosa spell before he shoots. That ball just levitates into the net with incredible speed on his shots. <laughs> Avenir Dutch. He does the Wingardium Leviosa. It's Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, no, wait, hold on. It's Wingardium Leviosa. Not Wingardium Leviosa. Can't believe I got that wrong the first try. Fudge, thanks for the gift and stuff. Thanks for making somebody's day. Dude, I, I appreciate it. And Davey Downey, thank you for the 17 months. Uh, your Dutch throwing some bits around today. Oh, wrong. If I told you guys what I'm gonna name my first dog, I don't know when I'm gonna get a dog. Probably no time soon. But I've already picked out the name for my first dog. You ready? You're not. You're probably not ready. Uh, Dan Ball. That's not the name. Uh, <laughs> Elliot Ashodi and... You know, you give Tom Sam's little uh, little run. Little Tommy Sam's run. No, Ben Bailey. Ben, I actually like Ben Bailey more than I like Elliot Ashodi. so... Joe Ling, you're in for Paris. We have no sub for Morgan. As long as Stern is out, we literally have no sub for Dylan Morgan. He just keeps playing over and over and over again. Um, Thompson there, Augustus McGiff can literally play every match ever. So we'll do that. McCoody, Lee Lucas, James Clark, uh, Paris, and Monty Hunter. Hi, Monty Hunter. Okay, that's a, that's a solid team for Hampton and Richmond Borough. I think we lost to this team last time. Right, it's the name of my dog. Uh, it's not Weasley, Hagrid. Uh, no, not Derek or Patrick. Dorfee, not bad, but no. 
Gennaro. Reese hind legs. I don't even know where to go with that. Power Tower, Dumbledore, no. It's named out. Uh, my, I've already decided the name of my first dog is to be named after a spell in Harry Potter because you might have noticed this. I'm cool. So. No, it's a spell in Harry Potter. Can you figure out what spell I'd want to name my dog? Not Esteban. That's not bad. Lelujo is actually a spell in Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh, Perkinator got it. So if you name the dog Accio, right? St stupefy! Why? Oh, hi. Hey, bud. How you doing? Oh, abracadabra. Uh, it's Accio. That's the funniest joke ever. It, you tell a joke every time you tell your dog to... Because Accio is the, it's like the summoning charm or whatever. So you like Accio locket or whatever and the locket like comes. So like if you say like Accio, Accio! And then it just like the dog... <laughs> Let me see why I'm just thinking about it. The dog then runs up to you, All right? You have summoned the dog with the dog's name. It's the summoning, anyways. You can't steal my idea. It was my idea first. And then every good dog, need, every good dog name needs a nickname. You just go Aki and it's fine. It's got a nice dog nickname sound. See, I've, I've figured this out. I don't know why I can't like, you know, one of those things I'm like trying to fall asleep and I came up with that instead. Like, awesome. Let's go, Peacocks. Peacocks. Oh, no, Dylan Morgan's hurt, too. What do I do if I have nobody that can play that position? We just... Uh, I don't know. He's definitely not going to be able to play the cup quarterfinal. We're just going to have to go with something... I don't, like, um... Falston? Harris? Who can play up there? Falston, can you play? No, nope, he can't at all. Paris? Yeah, yeah, Paris can. All right, new strat. Paris is going to play wing back in front of Fulston at fullback. And we're just going to put him at wing back on attacks so that he flies forward. And that's that. That's all I've got for one match. I've never tried stacking like that before. Wing back to fullback. But I think we'll have to do that because Paris can at least play left side farther up the field. Run, Fulston, dang it. Yeah, we're there. Ball wins the header emphatically. Gabode, that's fine. Easy for Bycroft. Da, 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 da. Oh. Oh. Could also put Paris as like a central midfielder on Carolero. That was bad. Kind of getting beat right now, guys. They're doing a really solid 4-4-2 right now. Oh, man. That's a tough goal to give up. <sighs> Could be the start of a new 6-2-2 formation. Yeah. They're going to run front post stuff. Why is Ashodi not marking that? Just put Ling up. Dang, we hadn't given up a goal off a corner in a long time. It'd only be fair if we got it back right here. Uh, Thompson. All right, Morgan's got space. Brings it down well. Ah, uh, the ball just left a little bit to be desired. Nice sling. Nice, good ball. Augustus McGiff might open up. Why is Hampton at Richmond Borough kick me all over the yard every time? I mean, it's only the second time we played him, but they did this to us last time. They like really beat us and they're not that good. Near side. Thank you. Dylan Morgan. I, uh... That's mine. 
Oh, these guys are killing us. They're better at playing our... That's that's why. Oh, no. They're better at playing our game than we are. Win the header. Elliot Ashodi's just on a walkabout. Ben Bailey's guarding both the center backs, and now he's giving away a penalty. Exile, thank you so much for the prime. Come on. Ow. Oh. I right, need to stop the bleeding. We need... Uh... Drop the block off here. Thank you, Bailey. Okay, let's do something here. Thompson's got McGiff ahead of him. He's got Joe Ling making a run. Joe Ling. Still Joe Ling. Thompson, we needed you up there. Oh, dude, we are losing all them headers, Ling. That's fine. Could have been a better ball, but that's essentially what we want, is we win the ball and then get it up there quickly. We're there, Elliot Ashodi. That was the worst clearance. That would have been an unbelievable goal if he scored that, but... Ah, uh, we've turned around worse. This has been a bad first half, though. If we could steal a goal before the half and then yell at them at halftime, I think we're right back where we need to be, though. That's better. Turn the D prefer. I would always prefer to turn the defense around on the long ball. There we go, Smith. Oh. This Gabode guy is killing us. He has been the best player on the field. He is winning the ball so consistently. He created the situation that got them the penalty. He scored them the goal off that corner. We I, he could get sent off yesterday. Please and thank you. Thompson, there we go. Augustus. Yeah, I'll take a corner, but... Uh, it's not likely that that'll be, like, a fun spot. We don't have our tall center backs in. So, Bode, is, he's exhausted. He's exhausted, which means we should tight mark him, hit him hard, and... Try and push him off the ball. Okay. Thompson. Supermax Thompson. Oh, he won the header. Oh. Oh. He... Oh, he won the header. Fire everybody up. Elliot has showed he's not playing well. I want him out for Kimani Hunter at halftime. Uh, Dan Ball's coming out as well. Actually, no. I'm going to leave Dan Ball in. This is a really risky call. I'm going to take out Anxious Eddie Ashodi because I think Dan Ball's going to be able to help us more than he's going to hurt us even more in the second half. It's a bold call, but it's one I'm afraid we have to make. I'm going to put my GIF in the middle and I'm going to put my cootie up here as a target forward on support. Now, we're totally fine. Fulston, you are definitely on defend, brother. They have never seen set pieces like this before. 17 jumping reach, I do declare. This is going to be fun. Two strikers. What about three strikers? Using opposition instructions. They're not using. I use them. Z's not using them. 
I don't use them nearly as heavily as a lot of people do. I think you can succeed either way. As long as you do other things right, you know, player selection, overall tactic stuff. But I also did just turn on some opposition instructions, so it's not like I don't use them. Makuti, are you on? Nah, he was offside. On that? Yes, Kamani. We needed the height. We needed the height on the back line. I think I'm just going to start starting Bailey and Hunter. When we go to our backup center back pairing. I think that's better because uh, we've just been killed on the height. Oh, Makuti. He's in. Ish. Definitely not in, but Makuti. James! You know what we should have is Makuti right here. And then him is a uh, deep lying forward. Augustus McGiff on that side. McGiff's much better at collecting the ball and running with it, where Makuti, he doesn't have good first touch. He doesn't have good passing. He doesn't have good facilitation. We need him to be there to finish the play off. Come on, Dan. Come on, Dan. McGiff on a 6.2. This is not the time, Augustus. James Clark, you're in. Fullback and attack. Get your butt up the field, brother. Get your butt up the field. We're going to bring that line up. We're going to play our game. Clark, I know you're anxious. I didn't want to do it, but Bell's not, uh, Ball's not doing the things that he's supposed to be doing. He's not. Come on, Hunter. We can't be losing that header. Zio, I think we need highlights. Knows. We have three strikers on the field, and we are not getting any highlights, dude. Okay. Maybe something. Super Fenster. Thanks to the four. That's us, Fulston. I need two goals pretty quick here, boys. Oh, Makuti. <sighs> what? Stirring action. Nice. Way to sow chaos. Smith. McGiff. Our best facilitating forward. Clark. Maddie Clark. Augustus McGiff. Come on, Bailey. Huge header from Bailey. Huge header. That was isolation against their best man. Smith. Spreading the love to Augustus. Back in for McCooney! Oh! Nick McCooney! We made the right call, putting him in the middle. That is for darn sure. Augustus McGiff with a fabulous play. Takes it first time. Pops it back into the middle. McCooney's able to attack it. 2-1. Let's get two more goals, boys. Let's get two more goals. Two more. Let's keep throwing that ball forward. There are two more goals in this game. These changes seem to have helped a lot. Clark. Goodness, that touch. Okay. And up the field. Beautiful. Makuti. Oh, don't drift. Contest him. We're there. Bycroft. Thank goodness. He was off anyways. Okay. Bycroft quickly. Beautiful. Oh, but it's okay because Fulston's there and he's got the ball for Augustus McGiff and Augustus McGiff with impudence. Oh, he was on a 6.2 and now he's taking over the game. Great ball by Fulston. McGiff takes his time, centers himself in front of the keeper, pops it over Hudar. We still win this, baby. We still win this. Let's go. Oh, yo, what?
What? Oh, how did that go in? Bycroft was there. All right, come on, two more goals then, two more goals. Clearly the game has just opened up to a catastrophic extent. Clark, pop it up, pop it up the field, Clark! Gonna lose us this game, man. A uh, good save. It's that throw in, the short throw in. It's one throw, one touch cross, and it's literally just a one on one in the box. My center backs are just standing around doing nothing. Let me. Can I concede a goal for the run of play? Does this look like what was happening to you on that freaking throw in defense? Oh, that makes me so mad to see that. Does that even. I, I swear I don't even affect anything in this game. I don't affect a single thing. Doesn't even matter. Where's the three man zone in front of the goal, Bob? Cause that one's probably gonna matter for our very, like very important point in the season here, Bob. Very important point. Wow, great match over here. All right, notable events. This is what I want. So let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this beautiful three-man zone we have for uh, long throws here. This uh, this incredible, like, these are my center backs right here, guarding absolutely nobody. Um, what I've told us to do in throwing, there's nothing I could have done about this, and that infuriates me because this is a set play from the throw-in. Their offensive set play, I'm sure, is in. Because it freaking worked. There's nothing I could have done about that. Oh, man. Okay. <sighs> we have a three-man tall player zone defending throw-ins and throw-in plays. Except for then, apparently. Then we just have our shortest guy on the back line guarding his position on that side of the field. That's that. Then that's what we have. I guess we'll, I mean, throw that up there as well. Come on, knock this ball down and create something. So you're playing the sixth division. It's not about the quality of the players. It's about the freaking play I designed. If I was coaching U12 and I told my three tallest players, when they have a throw it, stand on the edge of the box, the edge of the six, stand there. They would do it. I know these guys are not good. And that's why on some of these aerial plays, I don't say anything. But if I'm coaching church league and I tell you to stand at the edge of the six when they have a freaking long throw, they will do it. And last time I checked, these guys can read. And listen. This cost us a point. After our tremendous comeback. Hampton and Richmond Borough. Richmond's a city in Virginia. You're irrelevant. Get out of here. Far from pleased. Number 
one thing you work on in the training grounds of freaking set pieces. Oh, I didn't even know Zach Smith got hurt. That stings. All right. That was a painful result. I think that means we are, what, three off? We're three off a of brain tree they just drew, but haven't Waterloo got their matchup. It's a long season, long road, but once again, we have failed to cash in a draw when we should have. Dang it, dude. I just hydrated, Chad. I just hydrated. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. St. Albans just beat having Waterlooville. So we only lost a point on Braintree. Apparently, we're all on the same schedule. So all five teams are still within four points of each other with nine matches left to go in the season. That was... Uh. Mm. Wow. Please don't drown Zealand, my mom pleading with Chad. Thank you for the hydration reminder. I need to drink my vitamins in, in as well. A little part of the experience, yes? Oh, good. Okay. Some soundproof foam starting to fall off the wall. How do you guys... How do people get that stuff to stay on the wall? I can't. I legitimately can't get soundproof foam to stay on walls. Anybody have any tips? Anybody work with that soundproof foam? What do you use to keep it on the ball? Glue? Oh, goodness. They, Mr. I am not getting my security deposit back over here. Uh, Maddie Richardson, no. Yeah, three. Sims Matthews, I love it. Kamari Paris didn't want the praise. Lee Lucas will take it. FA Trophy quarterfinal away to Bromley. Our miraculous FA Trophy run and continues. Staples. Chewing gum like that. Stuff is useless anyways. It really isn't. This room was so echoey before I did this. Three meter Velcro. Three, three M Vel three million dollar Velcro. Got it. So the first thing you need is a wall. I like the way you think. We're starting with the basics. That's what I need. Command tape, that's what I use, and it doesn't work at all. Liam, stupid things are still falling off the wall here and there and in ev everywhere in the absolute mess. You know what I'm saying, brother? Absolute mess. Kamani Hunter with Ben Bailey. Do we have another league match right after that? Yes. Uh, so we're going to go with Kamani Hunter and Ben Bailey to start this match. Dan Ball's going left. Maddie Richardson, who is back and not training well, will step in on the right. Uh, Joe Ling, Lee Lucas, Thompson, and Augustus McGiff. Uh, McGiff, who's apparently just able to play every single game this entire season, I guess. He's just, like, able to play them all. Uh, we'll go McCoody. All right, now right wing is going to be James Clark. Left wing we settled was Paris. I think he's suspended. So now I guess we just go with a third striker. I mean, I'm just going to go like Warwick as an inside forward over here. We'll mess around with that. But like, that's what I'm thinking. He at least has limited familiarity with the role, so maybe we just take Harry Warwick and put him out there and... Well, something gonna happen. Mari Brown, you get up onto the bench and... 
I do want Jake Wannell for the next bit. On the league match coming up. Yeah, Paris on the bench with suspended. So Young is there. Thompson's the midfield option. Young is the striking option. They're both striking options, but you get the idea. What are they? Are they playing two striker? Yeah, we're just going to drop this off now. So we are playing a team in Bromley from the league above us. They're 10th in Vonorama National, but we've also already knocked Wrexham out. We've already knocked Wrexham out in the replay at Wrexham, so... Anything is possible here in the FA Trophy quarterfinal. Play without any pressure on you. I have faith. I have undying faith in all of you. Away to Bromley. Command strips would work best. Yes. Oh, 3M Velcro. It's a company. Got it, got it, got it. All right, Pickle Juice. Thank you. I appreciate that. You, do you enjoy the start of this long journey? Yes, because we've immediately been able to light the world on fire. You know, we're three points off the top of the league with nine matches to go with a team that was supposed to finish 23rd out of 24 teams. And we're doing it largely with the guys that are already on the team. Like, Makuti was already on the team. We got here. Lee Lucas, Lee Lloyd James, those guys were already here. Jake Wannell, already on the team when we got here. Dan Ball, Jay Folston, those guys are all on the Tottentown team. We've made some signings like, you know, from Paris to Augustus McGiff and such that have that have augmented the team, but we had the team in place. Oh, Bailey's in trouble. That was a good ball. Oh, dang it. How does our line get caught that high up the field is my question. How does our line get caught? What is it? What are we retreating from? We're retreat. Oh, from a throw in. Where is Kamani Hunter on this play? That was just a stupid play by him. That's not that, that's not match injury or anything. That's just us getting caught up the field. Fair enough. Fair enough. I planned on scoring today anyways, so. Bycroft, you just scared the bejesus out of me there. <laughs> Kanoa, thank you so much for the prime. Anatole, thank you for the 15 months as part of the hammers with a big old prime yourself. Makuti, play him. Play him. Well, that's not really your game, but... That would have been nice. Oh, yes, Kamani Hunter. Richardson, a floating ball for McCutty. It's a good service. Bailey, well done. McCutty again. Nick McCutty, Warwick. God, what a touch. What a player. Honestly, anything we get from Harry in this game at all is gravy because we're not expecting him to be able to do anything. He doesn't know the position, so on and so Oh, come on. Why? You are literally inside. A like, we are hugging each one of these guys and somehow this went in anyways. Hunter can't be with, like, Bailey and Hunter. What are you guys doing? Bailey and Hunter, what are you doing? You are on them. You just forgot to look for the ball or something. Oh, yeesh. Yeesh. quiet murmur from the lads so far in this one. All right, Clark. All right, Clark, use that pace. Good. I don't hate the stop there. Richardson. He's got him. He's got him. It's McCooney. This is what he does. Not that usually, but okay. Okay. Never mind. Away. Nice, Hunter. Great play. Joe Ling, way to foil. And the line is finally out. Nice. Couple of headers. And we found the ball. Good work, Clark. Slow down, back to Richardson. Then you pop it over the top. Oi. Oh, Joe Ling. 
Clark, Joe Ling, Lee Lucas. He's the passer. He makes the pass. Warwick is offside. Awesome. Frank, thank you for the four months. You're losing because you don't have Oscar Gluck. I wish we could have Oscar Gluck, but I don't think he wants to play semi-pro ball at the moment. Lucas. Nice, Harry. Harry Warwick. Lou, dude, where... In what world is that the move there? Warwick's getting space outside. We'll see if he can attack that a little more instead of trying to cut in. Well, that's a tricky deflection. Oh, that's really tricky. Ball completely missed. It stops play a positive trait. If it fits your play style, yes. If it doesn't, then no. It, it, it's an unusual trait. Not a lot of players have it. But the idea behind it is that when they receive the ball, they slow it down. They, you know, they, they stop play. I just need to hang around in this game, scrap a goal in, get that belief back. We've done a nice job of defending since that second goal. We just our shooting's not been good enough. That's what I'll yell at him about. We need to we need to take more shots towards the goal. Elliot Ishodi, switch you with Kamani Hunter. I, I don't like Elliot Ashoti, but. Mark Tall. Yeah, baby. Uh. Mark Tall. No, nope, that's not what I said. All right, Eddie Ashodi in for Ben Bailey. Everybody else, I don't hate you too much yet. Let's make this happen, chap. Terrison, thank you for the two months. Welcome back to the Hammers. Playing a team in the league above us in the FA Trophy quarterfinal. Had a magic run. We beat Wrexham in a replay. We're going to need some more magic, and that is... Um, I got nothing for you on that one. That is, uh, that is pretty stupid. Absolute disaster class there. No idea what he was thinking. Just follow it, running along. All right, Augustus, we need it like now if we're going to turn this into anything. Well, if we hand them three goals like that, it's not going to make this any easier. Now we need three goals. Second half. Shody, at least jump. Oh, my goodness. Good save. Getting shredded. We're, we're playing low block right now. Two. They're still getting through balls on us. Crumbling under the pressure of promotion. My brother in Christ, it is the FA Trophy. This is a cup match. Yo, Warwick, come on. Come on, Harry, just keep running. To a deflected ball to bowl. Okay, maybe a corner. Maybe Kimani, maybe Kaimani Hunter can re can, can can kindle rekindle the life in this team. Or Makuti. Mm. That goal, that that goal is one of the dumbest I've ever seen. Be conceded. That was so unfortunate. Why is? Why do we do what we do when we do? 
Clark just took a very interpretive stance on positioning in general. Uh, McCooty, you're not playing well. Let's go with Max Thompson. Uh, James Clark, Harry Warwick's obviously not getting the hype, but we can take Clark out for Amari Brown. Try and find somebody that's just about to have the game of their life to get us back into this. I'll move Warwick in since heaven knows he hasn't been effective out wide. Maybe if we pressing forward him on this side, he can find something in his game that will find us three goals. Ling. Oh, nice ball. Oh, nice ball. Warwick. He's got Thompson. And Thompson's... He is... Yeah, Thompson's actually pretty fast. I'm surprised he wasn't able to make more of that. Thompson's big and fast. He just has no technical ability. I don't feel comfortable going up into attacking now. I'm not going to get absolutely run over. Game is slowed down to us. Maybe, the, maybe they've got some complacency we can jump on with a quick double to make things spicy. Ah, oh, Warwick. Appreciate the optimism. They didn't have the same optimism. Lee Lucas. Good spot. Ball. Warwick. Nice. That's one. That's Boo. one. Oh. Oh. Wrong button. That's one. Good work. Nice work, Harry. Keep dumping it forward. Keep dumping it forward. Yes. Vomer, thank you for the two. Senor Rivers with a huge 18 months. It's great. I mean, honestly, we just got in behind him. Um, I'm going to make some adjustments. I want to pass into space. Goalkeeper distribution over, um, over defense. Raise the line more direct. I want you to hit the ball over the defense. And I want to play behind them if we can, Bycroft. Come on, don't. Thank you. Not a volleyball goal here. Play better in this second half. I actually won the majority of the momentum, the five minute momentum pulls in the second half here. Lucas, I'm going to Metsala you. I'm going to pressing forward on attack. Harry Warwick. Come on, let's spice it up a little. Dang. Out of the cup with a whimper. In the quarterfinal against Bromley. Oh, we just gifted them goals. We so just gifted them goals. To see this save in YouTube channel, PLS. The booing will continue until morale improves. So the Lucha says you have to praise every player. No, why not? You, it's, it's a free boost for atmosphere. It's 7.75 and 6.45. You yell at them. It's a free boost to your locker room atmosphere. There's no reason not to do it. Unlucky. I, I mean, I can't be mad. They actually played pretty well in the second half. They weren't terrible. Dan Ball was bad. Dan Ball's been sneaky bad. All right, we're out. We're out of the FA Trophy in the uh, quarterfinal. Oh, okay. We have a match in hand now because we had the FA Trophy match. So our match in hand means if we win it, we jump to second. Braintree seems to be the best team in the league, though. We're just going to need them to slip. But we have a way to Chesnut. If we win it, we go up to second. We have a match in hand. Haven't Waterloo are slipping again, which makes sense because they're not actually that good. So a National League side has knocked us out of the FA Trophy. When does the season end? I feel like we have, I don't know, a lot of matches in a very short span of time. I mean, it ends in April. I guess that makes sense. We don't play any matches in May. We put the save on YouTube. We have the live channel where um, I, I promise the save is headed there. We're just 
we fell behind on live channel edits and things during uh, the early fa the early stages of the World Cup videos. We fell behind, so now we we're trying to move back out of that. And the edits are almost caught up. It's just you know up getting everything together, getting the old streams uploaded. We're uploading the streams before Football Manager. 23 came out in full on the 8th. So we're still uploading those streams right now. Aaron O'Reilly. Aaron O'Reilly. That's a center back with 14 passing. I tell you, that would be so valuable to us. That would be so insanely valuable to our team. Frankie Ealing. I mean, there's no way... Aston Villa's loaning guys. Uh, maybe, maybe not sixth tier, but fifth tier. If if we just so happened to pop up in the fifth tier, per chance, you know, maybe then. Oh, he's at Chippenham Town. He's loaned into Chippenham Town, and he's good. Harvey Walker. Don't like you, Ben Schroll. Don't like the big matches. I am tired of having guys that don't like big matches. That is what caused so many problems in the Florida store for save as well. Actually, a decent free kick taker as well. It's probably worth a few goals a season. That winger, Kiran Wilch or something. Or other. Oh. Last cup check. Thank you for the prime. Thank you for the... 10 months. Goodness. Chazerwin, thank you for the, uh, the prime. Samson, thank you for the nine months. Hugo, thank you for the five months. Yeah, it'll be on the live YouTube channel, I would say, probably in two days. It'll start on the live YouTube channel, not tomorrow, but the next day. Hope that's okay. That's 46 games. Can't wait for the World Cup, dude. I hope we're able to use this World Cup. Honestly, I think it might backfire. Uh, uh, like, if I if I can be straight with you for a minute. If you look at the World Cup as a... Right, something that shines the light on the country that it's in. Uh, then it is a real opportunity to effect change in Qatar. Where I feel like if the World Cup was not there the light would not be nearly as bright because that's just the way the world works you know i wish it wasn't but it is and so i feel like the light would not be very bright on qatar if like in their practices if the world cup wasn't there so i think the, the long-term impact of this world cup as long as we bring attention to the right stuff might be a positive one which is weird to think about not in a way that they intended, <laughs> but in a, in a way that's better for humanity, right? But as long as we keep, you know, attention and energy on that stuff, I am also so, I'm, I'm so looking forward to the World Cup. I just love the World Cup so much. I, I love... I love all major international tournaments. I just really love the World The World Cup is special. And now we're going to be able to watch every game. It's the fakest World Cup. I don't think it's the fakest World Cup of all time. I think it's the most... Uh, look. I don't know the historical background of every World Cup. But I think in the modern era, like, since I've been watching, it's by far the stupidest one. Like, I, I mean, obviously, they just paid to have it, right? Everybody knows they paid to have it. It's like getting caught with your pants down, right? And, like, it, it's been proven that they paid to have it, and yet everybody has to go and be like, oh, hi. You know? Like, it's dumb. I think Qatar's got a bunch, you know... <laughs> Qatar's a bunch of... They, they, they have people, like... I don't know. I don't want to wade into it too much because we do have a like we have a no politics rule on the channel. We have a we we don't. Um, Twitch is not generally the place, at least, like to, to talk about that stuff. And so I generally try and leave it. But obviously, the World Cup is like this confluence of 
that sort of stuff into the sporting world. Right? I feel like there's better there are better forms to have those conversations, but last World Cup was literally in Russia, exactly. At the time, Russia wasn't, you know, actively invading another country. They weren't exactly a squeaky clean, you know, shining example of humanity at its finest, but they also weren't actively invading another country in 2018. So this feels like, you know, given the way that it was awarded and given the things that were done in order to build the World Cup stadiums, you know, they were Crimea. Okay. The fake referendum and then they moved in there. Yeah. See, this is what I mean, right? I am, I, I think most people pretend that they're equipped to have these conversations. I will readily tell you that I am not. Like, I know about Crimea, but it's also like, I'm not, it's not in the front of my mind, right? When I'm having this, I'm just talking off the hip. So like, obviously, yes, there you go. But I'm just like, I can't wait for a world, like the World Cup of the United States is at least going to be free of that. I know a lot of people have strong opinions about the United States, but um, you can you can be gay in the United States and not die, and I feel like that's pretty valuable in like a World Cup host, right? Um, and I think it's I think it's it's going to be such a relief for that to be the World Cup and for the Qatar World Cup to be behind us, and hopefully while the Qatar World Cup's going on, we can bring as much attention as possible. Like during the live streams, we're going to be raising money for the human for humanitarian efforts for the migrant workers in Qatar. Uh, and hopefully the World Cup can work against the Qatari government and shine light on that stuff. That's, that's basically, that. that's all, you know. And hopefully they stop giving World Cups to countries where you have to, like, check your morals at the door to enjoy it, right? It's like listening to Michael Jackson songs or something. Sorry, mods. I know I just made the mods live really hard. And I do apologize to, to, you know, anybody that was affected by the Crimea thing. Like, it's not, it was obviously not my intention to do that. But I'm not a political pundit, right? I'm not the type of person that's supposed to have that knowledge front of mind. So I'm just sorry I didn't. Because you are right. God, was that that long ago? It's crazy. I feel like I'm losing a timeline of, like, when time's supposed to be. But in the U.S., you use shoes indoors. That might be the worst. I don't know what to say. Sounds like you have some strong opinions. I'm going to go with James Clark and Dan Ball. And then we still don't have a left wing, so I'm just going to go with the triple striker again. Uh, we're going to get really interpretive today. We are going to go with triple striker pressing forward. McCoody in the middle. McGiff out wide. Pressing forwards wide, McCoody. Target forward in the middle. Absolutely disgusting formation. Lee Lloyd James, you've got the fresh legs. We're going to rotate that position probably heavily. Uh, Elliot Ashodi's in there. Kamani Hunter should be our defensive sub. Okay, back in the league, so this is important. The public one. I don't wear. Look, I only. I. 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 I only wear shoes indoors sometimes. I don't wear them a lot. I only wear shoes indoors sometimes. Okay, not all the time. I'm not wearing shoes right now. Is that what you want to think about? You want to think about my feet right now? Okay, is this what you want? Is that what you want? No shoes. Not even socks, dude. You got to pay a lot of money on the internet for that. Okay? You just got it for free. To plead my innocence. I am not responsible. Okay? As a non-American, I very much enjoy living in America. Thanks. That means a lot. I think most of us are uh, pretty nice. You know? All right, I just showed feet. We better win this game. Away to Chesunt. Nine matches left in the league. Let's get it. Let's get after it. We win this match. We're three points off the top of the league with eight matches left. We have a match in hand on everybody, and we're making it up right here. Honestly, for promotion's sake, it's probably good that we got knocked out of the FA Trophy copium. <sighs> totally wouldn't have preferred to win copium.
Zealand in horrific formations, a tale as old as time. Do you have a problem with the... Do you have a problem, sir? She would like to discuss... <laughs> Will show feet for three points. Celtic Kernel, thank you for the prime in the two months. Dunu, thank you for the 23 months. Looking forward to that diamond bacon coming up. So we actually have... Um, our action zones. We got our dugout. I'm going to put the dugout up here. I'm going to put the notable events over here. And uh, yeah, we got match momentum. And then we have the Chesnut formation, which I should get rid of for taunting stats so I can see the fitness. Okay. I, I just for some reason I hadn't organized this position. Lee Lloyd James is taking an injury. That's fine. We're in a really defensive posture today, but we've got three forwards. So riddle me that. Matthews. Oh, Leloy James. Augustus McGiff. Dang, what a hit. That was traveling right towards the corner. And even though he hit it really well, it still didn't go in. Shouldn't that tell you not to take that shot? Typically, oh, don't come for that. Don't come for that, Bycroft. Oh, good gracious. Oh, heavens, Bycroft. You've created something from nothing there. Thank you, Wannell. Oh, Warwick. Oh, with a one-two. The one-two. It's Harry Warwick striding forth into the precipice of history and failing okay you think they'll ever fix the match engine yeah i do nick madden is legitimately a personal friend of mine he just happens to be the guy that like also makes the match engine he is aware of the issues in it and is attempting to fix them Hey, who was that, by the way? Tom, I hope you had a good stream. Oh, my gosh, this weekend. Tom, I hope you had a good stream. What up? Welcome to the... Well, well, welcome to the party zone. Nine matches left, chasing promotion. We have a match in hand, which we're playing. If we win it, we're three points off the top of the league, which is the promotion spot. Augustus, no. No! Tackle him, literally, with your arms. Tackle somebody. Somebody hit somebody, please. We've got our core. We've got our core of six guys in the way. Uh oh. Ah, uh, what are you doing? Oh, that's us. That's Clark. Get out of the way, ball. Oh, run. Run, you speed demon. Dang it. Thank you, Wannell. Oh, Leloy James in five pace later. Clark, you have the space. You have the space. Oh, oh. Come on. Come on. Ball. What a service. No way he's on. He's Yeah, you're right. Libbard is large. We just committed two fouls in the box. Thank you so much. I am so grateful that you... Uh, no, I granted the highlight's still going, but I'm pretty sure we just committed two fouls in the box. <laughs> I didn't call either of them. Yes! Yeah! Ah! Nobody say anything. All right. I'm happy with your performance so far. Let's pick each other up now. Let's pick each other up. Nobody's gonna know. Just don't say anything, Chad. It's easy. Just don't say anything, and we are fine. Libold. Gardner Smith. No, that's mine. You're mine, Tonga. You are. Oh, jeez, Folston. <laughs> you can't just kick him. Didn't even get a yellow. The game is back. It's not gone. It's back. The, 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 the true game is back. Accio VAR. All right, Bycroft. Let's him get in position. Hits a banger. Warwick. I don't hate that. As long as the goalkeeper can't get there, that lets us change the field. Makes them have to work their way all the way up. Come on. God, Leloy James is so slow. Libold.
Oh, nice play, Paris. Like somebody said earlier, very underrated member of this team. Does his job incredibly well. Oh, Warwick. Oh, okay, we're getting fancy. Clark, the quick ball to Makuti. Maybe we could have done that a different way, but as long as we're pumping the ball into the box, I'm fine. Leloy James, Augustus McGiff! <sighs> Tipped into the post. Augustus just has a different level of quality. Doesn't he? He's finally getting tired, which is amazing. He's played like a full 90 every day for the la every three days for the last like two weeks. All right. Oh, I feel like there's a goal in this for us, guys. Lloyd James, he's got Makuti! All right, the subs. Uh, Lee Lloyd James out for Lee Lucas. Um, I'm going to take Harry Warwick off. Target forward him. And advance forward Nick McCuddy. I do love Thompson. Thompson's just a big lug. Gets in the way. I'm not taking McGiff off. McGiff has got too much quality. And he had a freaking 6.2 the other game and then had an assist and a goal out of nowhere. The dude does not get down on himself when he's not playing well. Oh, nice work, McCoody. Put him under a lot of pressure there, Paris. Oh, he's so bad with the ball, though. He's really not. Because he doesn't do anything he can't do. Which is more than most of these guys can say. McGiff, nice. Clark with the one-two. Is your foot lead? Can you make one pass, Clark, that looks reasonable? Almost two years smile. Oh, we're on that. We're on that. Jay Folston. Oh, Thompson contests. Love the pressure we're putting them under, though. McGiff. Like, this is a really... Oh, Matthews, love that. Audacious. McGiff. Thompson. Goal! I was right to trust Augustus. <laughs> Boom. Matthews just sends it back from whence it came. McGiff settles it. Delivers it to our host of forwards. That was brilliant from Augustus. And Thompson's poached a couple goals here. Always trust M Augustus McGiff. Always. It really was just a beautiful setup for him. Oh, yeah. Fulston, Thompson, beautiful. Cootie, the ball's not going there. It's somewhere else. Wannell, who's so much shorter than Laborde's, but he's actually doing a good job with him. Because his jumping reach is high. Oh, Lee Lucas. What amazing to have a midfielder that can actually run, isn't it? McCoody, nice. Thompson. Thompson. McGiff unleashes the McCoody. McCoody to McGiff! Wow! <laughs> that was scintillating. That was scintillating. One McDouble, please. The McDouble's back. McCoody to McGiff. Whew. Is it hot in here or is that just us? Oh, yeah, mine. 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 Keep. Keep. This whole three forward thing's working out pretty well. Maybe, you know what? I might be on to a tactic for next season. We might be going with three forwards next season. Screw the wingers. I can't find a star winger. I don't need one. I'll keep, like, a couple on the team if we need to play somewhere else. But guys like Smith that can also play midfield. I, I think I might be on to something a little simpler. Oh, what a shot! Are you kidding me? That almost went in? Oh, shut up. What a hit! It hit both posts! Oh! Holy smokes, dude. Nice, Clark. Yeah, if you get some good, like, box to box midfielders like Joe Ling in Paris, and then we get one other guy. Maybe Lee Lucas. We get it. Oh, he's open. What a save! What a save!
Oh, wow. Our line was so bad there. Wow. Bycroft. Incredible. He wants to get promoted. That was their best chance by three miles in this game. That was terrifying. Um, sub Augustus McGiff should come off. Be straight up with you. He is about to barf up a lung. So we're going to put in Amari Brown. I have no... I, I didn't prepare for this. I have no idea how we're going to make this work. We're just going to go center mid there. Move Makuts over there. Just need 15 minutes, Amari. I know it's a weird formation, but it should stop what just happened from happening again. So we've got one more body that's able to uh, recover that position. I don't think this tactic will play particularly well. It's not designed to get a goal, but if it does, you know what? I'm not going to argue. That's a corner. Easy! Jake, Wannell. Eh. Oh, dude. Nice, Matthew. Matthews, also a bit of an unsung hero. Our, like, fourth different starting... Oh, never mind. He just got cooked. <laughs> Couldn't even finish the sentence. And Matthews just gets barbecued. Oh, our defense has not been great in this game. Let me tell you. But they have not been able to score, and we have scored two tap-in goals. So, oh, nice, nice pressure, nice pass, nice pressure. Uh-oh. Creating excellent numbers against us. And I just want to know how. I mean, they're in a 4-4-2. Is the entire freaking midfield up the field? Like, what do you mean? Make the block lower. Okay. Oh, yeah. Low block finally finally work. I mean, in the sixth tier, it kind of does because it makes you play. It makes them play with you in front of them, which is kind of the point, right? We're just we are retreating full bore right now. Just three minutes without a highlight. It's all I want. I know you can't play here. Just figure it out. Oh, Waffle Watcher, thank you for the nine months. Dallas, thank you so much for the year. We won it. We won it 2-0. We were very shaky defensively in the last 20 minutes, but you know what? It was complacency, clearly. Uh, very happy with the result. Back into winning ways. Excellent performance from our front line in that game. Two tap-in goals. Oh, this league is going to be so fun. So, four teams within three points of the automatic spot with eight matches to go. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Just need to win a few games, boys. Just need to win a few games. Himmel Hempstead Town on the 18th at home. That is the only thing we got to focus on. Yeah, we do actually have the goal difference tie break on everybody up around here because we had like a 6-0 win at some point this season. Board's delighted with our club vision. That doesn't surprise me. We're about to hit McGiff with a goal bonus. That, I don't care. We go up, I do not care. Our preseason predicted position was 23rd out of 24 teams. Like, who 
Cody with a 6.1. What? What in the blue blazes is that about? Nuts. Hope you're feeling better, Zed. Today's dad joke for you. My yep. boss asked me why I only get sick on work days. I said it must be my weekend immune system. Oh no, I, I've heard that before. Unfortunately. Oh, is this gonna do the snapback now? No, it's not, okay. Oh, it is, apparently. I hadn't yelled at Joe Ling, who really shouldn't be training poorly, he's young. But if you hadn't heard it before, of course, provide your dad joke rating in the chat. A through F, all you jested. Thank you for the 13 months as part of the hammers, my dude, my homie. Home slice. Hey, where's my phone? I need lunch. Totally forgot to do anything about lunch before I started the stream, so I totally need something now. Uh... Macwell just texted me. What's the plan for the weekend, Mac? It is Tuesday. Oh, yeah, Macwell's coming to watch the first couple World Cup games here. I hope that's okay, if you know who that is. Literally here in this apartment. We're going to have a couch up against that wall. We're going to have a microphone for the watch along. It's going to be a blast. But he just asked, what are we doing this weekend? And I'm like, well, beside watching World Cup on Sunday and Monday, I don't know. Do, 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 do. Will you be barefoot for the World Cup? Yeah, I'll be picking my toes in the World Cup watch along. Really hope you can make it. Where's... Sorry. I'm sorry to do that to the people that are, like, freaked out by feet. That was the funniest thing I could think of in the moment. What was I doing? I was ordering food. Will there be Circle, a feet cam? Dot... Dot, nothing beats Makuti's shot. <laughs> circle, circle, dot, dot. Nothing beats Makuti's shot. What about Chick Fla? No. What about. Hmm. First time watching the Titan campaign, why do you have so many unavailable slots in training? Because, um, well, you see, the thing is, we're semi-professional, so we don't train all the time because my guys have other jobs. It's not just playing for the team, right? So it's it's more than that. You know, it's, it's about heart. It's about passion. It's about Kamani Hunter playing right back for a change. It's about Dan Ball maybe playing some left back. It's it's about so much. You know, it's about the game. It's about the sport. It's about passion. It's love. It's life. You know, it's just every, it's everything you could possibly have ever wanted in a sporting event right here available in this moment just for you. You know, it's right there in... I, I quite honestly can't believe that we don't see more of it, you know. Did that answer your question? <laughs> uh, I'm sure it did. I don't even know why I'm asking. E-I-E-I-E-I-O, up the football league we go. When we win the league, this is what we sing. We are Taunton, we are Taunton, Zealand is our king. Yeah, there you go, Stan Sway. Thank you for the 16 months. I forgot the question. Good, so did I. Could you tell? Uh, oh, we're doing three strikers again. Where's Thompson? Cool, I kind of wanted to secretly do that anyways. So let's go McGiff over here. McCooty's in the middle. Thompson's on the left, pressing forward there. McCoody advance forward in the middle. Smith on support. Lee Lucas, Segundo Volante, Joe Ling there. Kamari Paris and Matty Clark going nuts. Clark making those deep overloading runs on the right side of the field. Balanced out by Ling right here. Lee Lucas is going to get tired at some point in this game. That's totally expected and fine. 
I'm going to go with Kaimani Hunter. There's a very short list of guys that are down here that aren't already on the bench that I would trust to be up there on the bench. Pass the fitness test. Well, then let's just have Ross Stern available as an option, huh? He did pass his fitness test after all. I was once kidnapped by mimes. They did unspeakable things to me. How dare you? They can't even defend themselves. Okay. Eight matches left. Four teams within three points of the top of the league. We owe Himmel Hempstead, apparently. I'm glad we do, because I could fire up a few players. Let's get it. Let's get it. Dang, yeah, we'd heard that one before, but it looks like you're getting some good ratings from the chat, so good effort. Thank you for the three months. It's part of the channel. Uh, what channel are the World Cup matches on in the US? Fox, I think. I think they're on Fox. What manager setup we, did you start with? I always just tick the box for whatever manager setup works for the club at my level. So I have, a, I have like a National League A, I think. Because if you don't do that, then your players could not, could, they could respect you too much or too little. And if you do do that, then they, they respect you like the amount that would be normal for a save, right? Because if I showed up with no coaching badges, then I would have very poor respect from the locker room at the beginning. It's like we're starting with arguably the worst team in the National League South, so we got enough of a challenge on our plate. Come on, Jake! I'm standing up. We're standing up. Rise. Rise! Uh! In case you're wondering, I did forget to order food. So, somebody please remind me or I'm going to starve. <gasps> oh! How did McGiff get to that? Oh, Thompson! Marconi! Oh! Wannell? Oh my goodness, Wannell just made a play. On the ball. Smith. Lee Lucas! That was a hit and a half. Fox for English, Telemundo for Spanish, and up the peacock if you're freaky like that. Fair enough. We are up the peacocks. We're out playing Himmel Hempstead so far. Just need our magic moment where we create a tap in for one of our illustrious forwards, Thompson. How is it Thompson? I leave it open because we don't have any good free kick takers. So it should just be, you know, whoever the best is in the field at the time. I really don't think that's Thompson. Lucas. McGiff is on. Augustus McGiff. Oh, that was saved. I think he hit him in the face. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Clark. That was where it was supposed to go. Just lost the battle for the header. Okay, Matthews. Thank goodness. Wannell. Perfect. Just cue it back up the field. All right. Don't hate the first half. We've played pretty well. We just need more. Keep going. We'll get there eventually. Zach, it's good to have you back in the field. Keep it up, Zach. I know you're nervous, but keep it up. Hope you're good, Zealand. Seen you in my city, Glasgow, and enjoying the beer in Beer Halley. Great place. Hope you enjoyed the visit. I did. I, I, I had a great time in Glasgow. I really, really enjoyed it. I had lots of beer, I had good beer. And fried pizza. Paris. Oh, the cootie, what? Oh, those are the ones he normally takes, Nick. Our leading bag man, Nick McCootie. Those are the ones that he normally cashes in. It's 
Great ball by Paris. He's playing some serious left back right now. FPD, thanks to the seven. I, I did. I survived Glasgow. I did. Went to the Scotland game. Scotland and Ireland. Scotland going up to Nations League A where they will not find England, which I'm, is fun. And the fact they were very aware of while we were there. Come on. That's ours. Matthews. Good work. Smith. Great work. Lang. Absolutely scuffed that ball. <laughs> nice work, Kaimani Hunter. I thought. How? What? Who cares? That was weird. We're going to take our first look at subs. Maybe for fitness. Joe Ling's not playing well. So we're going to take Ling out. Dan Ball going to left back. Kamari Paris is going to step into the midfield. Makuti's also not playing well. So we have a decision to make here. Are we actually going to take Makuts off? And... Yeah, nobody's bigger than the team. Thompson's playing an absolute worldie. So we're going to go Warwick as a wide guy here. And Max Thompson's going to go into the middle. McGiff. Still that facilitator. Still that playmaker. We need that. We need that. We need that facilitation. We need that playmaking. We need a moment where we can put this ball in the back of the net to keep pace. Run with it, run with it, run with it. Oh, Wannell! Oh my goodness, Jake Wannell. You just gave me eight heart attacks, Jake. Well, that was the best chance of the game for either team. Nice ball. Augustus. Dig deep, Augustus. Run, dang it. Nice. Warwick. Warwick to Thompson. I started an American TSC with Santa Monica Surf. Netflix lead to Pacific, and I'm loving it. Ty for all you went to my ear doctor the other day. He said I'm going deaf. It was really hard to hear. It's actually pretty good. That was a B plus. Barrett, thank you so much for the nine months. That's a B plus. Uh, do a Met Salah, do Smith on attack, survey our bench. We do have Lee Lloyd James, but he's freaking exhausted. Stern's nervous. Let's take Jake Wannell out for Kaimani Hunter. Wannell's playing well, but he's also, he's keeling over. He's so tired. The dude has no engine. Did I just, did that just bring Amari Brown in? No. Okay. It just, am I looking at the wrong team? Whatever. All right, Matthews. Oh, yes. McGiff. To Thompson! Max Thompson. Great ball from a gif again. Oh. Yeah, the text commentary literally just said unlucky. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. We know. We know it's right there. We can feel it. We can feel it. Hit that ball as far as you can, Bycroft. Hit it as far as you can. Make him turn. He didn't make him turn that time, but Matthew's doing some nice work. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gif. Oh, this is just going to be fun.
All right, Lee. All right, Lee. Oh, you just mishit that ball completely. Send it. Yeah, there you go. Just stand on top of that, Bycroft. Thompson. Oh, my goodness. Send it. Lansing header. Oh. That's a tough draw. That's a tough draw that up until that scary chance. I mean, we had 1.62 XG. Just didn't find the goal. Oh, no. Everybody else won. Oh, we needed that one, dude. Braintree, Oxford, and having Waterlooville all won. Dang it. That's right. Everybody's going to drop a whole host of points into the end of the season. This is how this works, honestly. Got to make sure we're not the team that does do that. You want a... Oh my goodness, dude. Amari, I just want you to stay on the team. Oh wow, what a match! This is the this is the match right here. Do we play any of the other top teams? No, this is it. This is our last chance to pick up points against one of these teams. We play Braintree right now. We play Braintree away. If we can bag three points, we are automatically right back in it. <sighs> the match of the year. This is the match of the year. I was ordering a light lunch in a restaurant the other day. When it came, it was some lettuce leaves, but no dressing. My waiter, named Brutus, proceeded to plunge a knife into my back. Turns out it was a Caesar salad. Happy World Cup Week, BTW. Really? You don't say? Ollie, thank you so much for the uh, the 25 months. I'm going to go with a B minus. I agree with Halsey on that one. I didn't hate it. But I'm going to go with a B minus. Oh, dude. We need to end James Matthews individual quickness training. Sounds like you need to. Sounds like, uh, sounds like something you should do. All right, was that Thompson? Man, he is fast. He is tall, Max Thompson. Almost greatness. West Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountain. Shenandoah River food. Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. Food as soon as possible, yes. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. 
No, I don't want that. I just went through the whole process of ordering it and I don't want it. Oh, I'm so hungry. Check my. Oh, wait. We snack! I have wasabi peas. Forgot I had those. Alright, we're good. Just needed some wasabi peas to keep the energy going, you know? Well, yeah, snack until dinner. Where do you actually live? My address is... You guys get that? You guys over here acting like I muted at all. I didn't make any noise. What do you think? Oh, dude, were you supposed to mute that? I didn't even hit the mute button. I just didn't make a sound. <laughs> Easy recruitment meeting. Jill Bud's off the team. We finally dumped that huge wage to Slough Town. Took us long enough. Hmm. <sighs> Way to brain tree. I actually, and this is a weird for a lot of people, I can hear myself in my headset. I know a lot of people don't do it like that, but I do. So I hear exactly what you hear in my headset. And it really helps with like mixing audio and stuff and knowing how loud everything is, you know? I can hear everything you can hear. My voice included. So I'm just listening to myself the entire time. Pretty, pretty sus if you ask me. Yeah, Ross, I forgot you're a moody dude. I would hate that. No, yeah, I'm listening to myself every, like every second. It's not an echo, it's actually immediate. So it really just sounds like, you know, it, it, there, there's no delay. I, I'm not listening to an echo of myself. It, I, I hear it as, Obviously, it's not instantaneous. That's not how science works, but it's close enough to instantaneous that my brain doesn't hear the difference. Stern ready? He is. Okay, so we can play like our normal tactic now. Enough of this wild experimentation. Fulton. There he is. Fulton and Stern back again. Love it. Unfortunately, we are missing Paris, who is one of our preferred players. He's unavailable. We got Thompson, Morgan, Lilo, James, Dan Ball, and Kamari Hunter. That does look like the best set of options that we can come up with. Up for Z Cox, Z and Shades. Yes, sir! 
All right, uh, just to bring this back, I want us to pay attention to you and leave you. This is the biggest match of the entire season. This is the biggest match of the entire season right here. Away to Braintree if we win it. We are two points off automatic promotion. And we have the tiebreaker. Did you know there's a little known Tarzan story? In it, he left Africa and slew an oriental dragon. <laughs> Whoa, the throwback to Portuguese forward Tarzan there. I call this the seven and three with their use. And it is frustrating and annoying to deal with. We're going to need Lee Lucas and Joe Lang to have a mammoth. And we're going to need to take our chances. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. That automatic spot can be ours. We know it. We had some brutal luck in our last match. We turn it around today. Looney, thank you for the two years, by the way. Enjoy your diamond bacon. Oh, we got everybody there. That was the best we could do. Oh, let's go. Way to close it down. Oh, yo. I think our issue with the way we play these corners is we don't have a lot of push. And they don't push very aggressively in this game. Out. See what I mean? We're all standing seven, eight yards away from the goal. You need to, like, you clear a corner. What's the first thing you do in real life? You're booking it out of there up the field oh oh we hit the post set piece simulator it's my turn this one's for McCooney oh They're more talented than us. We expect them to have control over the, like the middling momentum, but the key moments, the defense and the offense and where the numbers pop up and where the numbers are, that has to be us. Ah, come on lads. Let's go. One moment. Makuti has been producing those all season. One moment. We've done a good job of limiting them. The vast majority of their shots have come from corners or like the residual area around, like play around the corners. And this might just be a chance. Ross Stern, fresh off the injury. Ross Stern, nice ball. Zach Smith, well taken. Smith's got McCooney. Nick McCooney! It's what he does, Nick Makuti. One touch, one finish. Well worked by Zach Smith. Nick Makuti has scored a goal that reverberates throughout the National League South. That a point one all. Shoot it. Oh my goodness. We cannot get it clear after a corner. Everybody's freaking staying seven yards away from the goal, dude. Watch how long it takes for them to leave. They don't, which is why he's on side. Uh, I don't know. 
know, man. I don't know. What are you doing? What are you doing after the game today? What are you doing? What are these guys doing? They're inside the penalty spot when that service comes in. Still there. Unbelievable. Move! Go, baby. We are where we were five minutes ago, which is a fine place to be. Oh my goodness. <sighs> we're not stopping that. That's just inch perfect passing that we we can't stop. <sighs> not at this level. Not uh, who we are. That's the forward we're told to drop off so that we can pick that up. And we still weren't able to pick it up. He put it right on his foot. That's that's a tough one. Oh, but we get it back. Ridiculous start to the second half. Four goals in like six minutes. Uh, there we go. That's more like the pass that we should see at this level. Okay, Smith. Oh, oh we had our whole life ahead of us there. go any lower than that dude will you stop stepping on him drop off for the love of all that's good and holy dude drop off as deep as you can go okay drop off don't mark him don't follow him up the field at all back up Jake you are not slow and you shouldn't be beat like this back up Goodness, man. All right, 2-2. Two, two. This game has gotten wild. Let's make sure we end up on top here. Yeah, that was four goals in a six-minute stretch, and we're back where we started. So, you want insanity? Here we are. Subs. Ling's a 6.3. We could go multiple defenders. Yeah, I'm going to go defensive midfielder. Deep lying playmaker there. Um, Dylan Morgan's going to step in for Stern. He, he gave us some good looks last time. And then the third change will be with like five minutes left. Uh, ten minutes left. We're going to go with the three strikers. We're going to take off Zach Smith and just go three strikers. That's right into the heart of our tallest guys right there. We got to want it. We've got to want it. We got to dig deep, guys. You gotta dig deep. Oh, we've had so many issues on these set pieces. That, there we go, okay. I don't hate that. Maybe our line can finally get up the field a little bit. As we got the ball clear. Thank you, Clark, Zach Smith. Wouldn't it just be a highlight that starts with their corner being a goal for us to win this match would be so fitting. Given all the pressure they put on us in those corners. Wannell, good, Augustus McGiff. Oh, converge. Good. This should be us. You guys talk. Talk. Bycroft wants it. That's fine. That's us. That's Smith. That's McCooty. He's got... Oh, he's got Augustus McGiff! Oh! 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 Mmm! You know what, Dylan? I think you can do this. I 
I don't know if I'm being over optimistic, Dylan, but I do think you can do this. I don't think we need to make a change. I think you've just got this. I think you've just got it. I'm not going to make another change in this game, likely. I think you've got it. Wannell and uh, McCoody. Oh my goodness, Matthews. Morgan! I wouldn't even know how to react if he was the guy that scored the goal. All right, we're making the change. Uh, it is... Dylan Morgan coming off for Thompson. And it's... I know I'm subbing out a sub. But give pep talk. I have faith in you. Cool. Sorry, Morgan. I like you. I don't think you're bad, but... Okay. <clears throat> Corner. Yep. For Narnia. Come on. Bad ball. Too low. Mm. I'm draw keeps us alive, but we're so close to more. Bycroft. Ah. Uh, yeah, Thompson, I you've been out there for five minutes. I can understand you being tired and not wanting to not wanting to pursue that one. Played well. It was a shame. We played well. Yeah, good game, close game. Keeps us alive. Doesn't really help, right? But it does keep us alive. We can crank out like five wins in the last six games, which is a run that we've gone on before. Losing would have essentially locked us into the playoff. Winning would have just accordioned the group so aggressively a draw keeps us alive but in the same spot we were obviously in going into that match home against ebbs fleet united and we finally get a full week of rest finally joe bud rejects slough town they want to discuss a new contract good call show unity and stability sounds good to me new contract will be offered awesome well we kept our job Do I just take the minimum wage? I take what they offer. Because obviously you're incentivized to take the minimum wage in the game. So whatever they offer, I just take. Sometimes I'll try and add more years to it, but I don't think I can on that one, so. I'll take a new new deal. I'm delighted to have signed a new deal to lead Taunton Town into the future. Yes! Taunton Town. Money they offer get deducted from the budget? Not the budget, but the overall balance of the club, which your budget is derived from, yeah. But the problem with the minimum wage is it makes you easier to fire. Now, I never plan on getting fired in the first place, obviously, but that's the only incentive, like, the only incentive not to take a low wage is so that you don't get fired. Or so that there's a bigger reason for you not to be fired. Outside of that, you just like, it's not like you can buy things in the game. You can't even fund your own coaching courses. You need the club to fund them, so. I 
I ain't nothing but a thing. You know what I'm saying, homie? I ain't nothing but a thing. Yeah, we can't get a senior affiliate because they're semi-professional. Nobody wants to send their players down here. I don't know how Bycroft ended up here. Clearly, in real life, it's a little different, but... In the... In the football manager world, if you're semi... Oh, have, have it in Waterlooville, Drew. So, we're keeping teams close to us. Not talking transfer stories today. Although the window is finally going to close on the 30th of March. Yeah, the window's been open the entire time I've been in charge of the club. Honestly, I didn't think there was a transfer window. So I'm surprised that one is coming to a close. But we have our team. What's the league above this? Vanarama National League. We are in the sixth tier right now. Oh. Hey, 38-year-old Danny Wright. You want to be a part of history? Must be a regular. Oh, I can't. I can't afford that. Never mind. Or right, let me rephrase that. I don't want to pay him a significant wage. Hey, what do you think, Dr. Alsey? Maybe we go for it. What was that guy's name? Right? Yeah, there's a good thing there's not a lot of rights, you know. Any right. Oh, really? I thought... For some reason, I thought they'd change that. Never mind. Hey, best wonder kids in the world. You think we should go after any of them? Thank you. Good chash cow. Yeah, I'm in. Gabriel Vidovich. Huge. Oh, who are you? Two Scottish guys, the last two guys here. Uh, I'm gonna add you to the short list for loans, maybe. Kovacic. Kovacic. Boyan Kovacic. Boyan. Bojan. Short for Bojangles. What do you want on your chicken sandwich? The Irish Lukaku. Um, I have no idea. I think the game just called Evan Ferguson. The oh my god, man! I'm, I've just been looking at really bad attributes for too long. It's definitely him. The Irish Lukaku. He's the first Irish player on the list. Evan Ferguson. Of Swansea City. Is just referred to as the Irish Lukaku. He's only six foot. Hey, but how wide is he? How's his strength? You know? Oh, baby. Ebbs Fleet United. Oh, yeah. You know what? Little player of the month award for my boy, Nick McCooty. Is he top of the pops for Golden Boot here? Not even top three. How the heck is that? Pop? He's fourth. Okay. He has 23 goals. Danny Mills, Adola Chamblet, Jake Hutchinson at Eastbourne Borough, 
and Sean Jeffers to St. Albans City. How's he fourth in the league? In goals. He's been a bag man. Finally! Took him 200 days. All right, our fully fit team. Where's Paris? Paris, 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 Paris. Paris. Is he really? Oh, he's suspended for a second match because it's like not, it's his second suspension. Okay, well, that seems harsh. That seems a little harsh. Dylan Morgan, you take up the, the mantle for Ross Stern. You guys, go, you guys go ahead and get up the field there. We're going to go balance. Deep lying playmaker, return you to your roots here, Lucas. Enough experimentation there. Okay, lower defensive lock. I think we should raise it. I'll be honest, I think we should raise. Raise the Fjord! Almost a year and 1,500 hours of FM22 later, here we are. Love that, Fenrir. Thank you for the 11. And Deadhead Tyler, thanks for the prime. Uh, Prince Archibald, I appreciate the nine months as well. Thank you for being a part of the hammers. Do you order food? Now we're snacking on wasabi peas. I'll go get some. Uh, I'll walk and go get like a healthy bowl once I finish uh, finish my pot. You know. Ignore the recent praise in the media. Play your game. All right, we have six matches left to play. We likely need to win at least four, probably five, and maybe even six in order to win automatic promotion. Love to start that run with a win. We've played pretty well in our last couple matches. Go we need, uh, they've been consecutive draws and we only had four draws in our first 38 matches. So let's get off that schneid, shall we? Gemini Lighting, thank you for the four months. And Shonsky, thanks for the five. It's absolutely the Red Devils, because if so, how dare you? Want to pick up FM. Is there anywhere I can go to learn how to pick a tactic, what attributes to focus on for each position, etc.? Complete newbie when it comes to soccer. Honestly, if you want to become, if you want to integrate yourself in what like the soccer world is, Football Manager is just a fantastic way to do that. From managing the sixth division of England to managing in Latvia to managing in Croatia, right? Like getting a feel for what it all means. Um, as a complete newbie, uh, you just know that you can you can give your staff one. I have a video series. I don't, I don't want to like over recommend it. It's called a Football Manager for Beginners, and it walks you through like what you see as you enter the game and what it is and how to how to play because it is a very complex game. Uh, but there are two things that are important to remember. Staff responsibilities. You can give your staff the control over anything you don't want to learn. So like scouting, um, training, th things you just don't want to take the time to learn. You just want to get into the game right now and you'll learn those later. You can hand that to your staff. Arranging and manage, even managing the friendly matches. There are preset tactics in the game. And then when you're looking at players' attributes... I, starting with a big club can honestly be more overwhelming because you have so much staff and so many players and so many things going on. I'd almost recommend starting at a really low professional level because you have less to... Oh, shoot! <sighs> you have, like, less to manage. But when you click on a player, you it'll actually highlight the attributes that are important for that position and role, so it can kind of focus your eye. Like, all attributes are always important, but to look at what is really good... They're really important for a player at that position trying to do whatever role you're asking them to do in the preset tactic. You know, you can load up a pre... The presets are not bad. Uh, any tips for selling players? Always uh, seem to struggle to get red. I mean, selling players has become much more delicate over the last two years. You have to make sure that they're okay, that they want to be sold. Um, yeah, I ideally wouldn't try and sell somebody unless there's already interest in them. That little wanted sign when you click on transfer status, there's a bunch of teams in there. That was a pretty tame first half. Thing is, we can't do this again. We can't just play this match again with another draw. 
Um, little encouragement. Okay. I'm going to take Morgan and stick him up here inside forward second half. We're going to come out attack in the second half. And I want to counter press as well. Since we'll have three, maybe four guys pretty far up the field. Are you stood up? Yes. I have a standing desk, so which is good because I usually spend 10 to 12 hours a day at this desk uh, working on videos or streaming. So it allows me to stay fit, you know? I don't know what that was, but we'll just keep doing it. Really great for the, the elasticity in the hips. Maybe you just bop back and forth. Sounded good, didn't it? I feel like I could be a fitness YouTuber. So you want to do 10 sets of three of that, and it really creates a vibrancy in your movement, you'll notice as you go throughout your day. Well, Wanel, you couldn't have been worse at that. Oh, heavens. Oh, I got nervous there. Final score was 2-2 of the last match. It finished 2-2. All four goals in a six-minute stretch. Oh, get in there, Zach. What? Oh, okay. I, I don't know how that hit him last, but we'll take it. We just need a goal. We just need to produce a moment. Wannell, Wannell. Clark, Joe Ling, Joe Ling towards Dylan Morgan. Oh, headed out for a freaking corner, will ya, Smith? Again, we're looking at Dylan Morgan. I would encourage us to not do that. Dylan is not a tall lad, particularly. Um... Oh, he's got to be off. Surely my left back didn't keep him on. Yeah, flags up. Goodness. Come on, guys. All right, Dylan, you're off. Thompson's in. We're going to go with the old school patented Zealand method. Stick Mc... Oh, come on. This is going to be fun. There we go. Stick McCooty in the middle. I actually got that second try. Look at me go. Segunda Volante. Smith on attack. Yes. Take a look at our corner attacking uh, piece here. We don't want Thompson. We want striker center. Which is here. Hey, Z, have you heard the news on Poland? Apologies if you don't want politics in the stream, but I was interested. I have not, no. I've not heard the news. I kind of I was almost expecting that to be a dad joke, to be honest. Oh, not, I'm, not, I'm not even getting feedback on this, am I? Well, that's the last change that we feel comfortable making at all there. We'll put you on attack too. We're flying forward. I'm gonna go super direct. Um, keep taking long kicks. I don't want to play over the top. I mean, I haven't seen a highlight of them playing a particularly high line. Yes. Well, we need is one. We don't need a lot. We just need one. Lee Lucas. Oh! oh get him, son. Get him, son. Oh, what a massive goal from Lee Lucas. A brilliant hit right when he absolutely had to have it. <sighs> Let's go, baby. Yes. Legacy Star Killer, thank you for the 13 months. What a hit from Lee Lucas. Oh, the Metsala drifting into space. Oh. With five minutes to spare, Totten Town gets the goal it needs. Not a boy, McGiff. Way to get back there. Way to get back there. Like this passing. Like this passing a lot. Thompson up to McCooty. Out to McGiff. McGiff back towards McCooty. That's a corner. 
We're swaggering around now. No, oh, I thought that was going towards Thompson and McCooty. They were open. What are you doing? Thank you, Ling. That's fine. That was well contested. talking about three points on to the next one that's one give me five more give me five more that's one that's right everybody won <laughs> braintree won having waterloo won in oxford city i think won too yes okay well we needed that we absolutely needed that goal or else the race would have been over right now Brain Tree are the first team to secure a spot in the playoff. We are now away to Bath City. Just keep winning. Keep winning. That's all we can do. We know these teams are going to slip up. Everybody slips up at this level. We've done enough slipping. Oh, Paris just got dive into tackles. Oh, Kamari Paris is about to destroy some fools out here. He's about to destroy some fools. Doo -doo 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 -doo. What food do you go for? I'm eating wasabi peas. Just snacking. I'll go walk and get a meal once we finish the stream. I don't even call it lunch, breakfast, lunch, and dinner anymore. I just eat when I can. Sigma grind set. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, no, I'm good on that one. I want us to keep Lee Lucas on the team. I, I mean, did you just see that goal? Um, hmm. uh, let's see how the negotiation goes. We can get it down to 12, 13. I'd pay 13 for another year of Lee Lucas. Yeah. A trusted face. Got to keep a few of those around. Lee Lucas is definitely one of them. What a goal from Lee. What a huge goal from Lee Lucas to keep it alive. Remember that if we're able to pull this off. I heard you will watch every World Cup game on stream. If so, that'll be great. Absolutely. I've always dreamed of being able to watch every second of every World Cup match. And now I'm like, wait, what if I just did that for streaming? So I'm, 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 I'm we're getting a bunch of stuff set up for it. We're de we're, this room's going to be decked out and... Um, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have a couch right there. We're gonna turn these monitors that way. We're gonna have a mic over there. Sometimes I'll be sitting by myself for the first couple games. Mackle will be there with me. Not more flags. How about a scarf of every team at the World Cup? That sound cool? Because it's definitely uh, something that I already have. And it's literally sitting right outside this door. What you don't understand is exactly how many scarves that is. It's a lot. This is half. Um, the other half is still out there on the table. But it's a lot of, it's multiple full boxes of scarves. Uh, that, you know, I, I don't know exactly what we're going to do with them yet. 
but you know, maybe we'll, we'll get some like reversible stickies so whatever team is playing will be above the couch. You know, whatever teams are playing, the scarf will be above the couch. That, that's an idea I've had. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're doing some fun things. So it's not just going it, to, it's not going to feel super familiar. It's going to feel new and exciting and fun, right? Not that I have any problem with familiarity, but it will, you know, it's not just going to be me sitting at my desk doing the watch along. We'll have some, some cool stuff. We're having an, uh, we're, we're, we're getting a nice overlay made, nice little set up. Maddie Richardson, he can, he can go. Actually... Hold on. I just accidentally closed my chat on the other monitor. Hold on, guys. How do you get it back up? Yeah. Chat's back. Yeah, but we'll have, you know, we'll have like the lineups up on the screen. We'll have the... Um, like the group table up on the screen. I'm really excited. We, we've been working hard on stuff. Game planning. Are you going to stream FM during the World Cup? Yeah, but only like two to three days. Only like two to three times a week. Because we're already going to be live a lot. Uh, but we're not going to just stop playing FM entirely. You got to scratch the itch, you know. So we'll, we'll play a couple times a week. I don't know exactly how that's part. that part's going to shape out, though. And I've been hesitant to schedule it because maybe I'll feel great because I'm literally just sitting here watching games and be like, yeah, let's play some Woo. FM. Six maybe I'll just start baby. feeling exhausted. Who's I don't know. Excited for the World Cup? I am. You know, England's never beaten the U.S. I actually do know that. Okay. It's a great stat, isn't it? England's never beaten the U.S. Ross Stern will get you on the field with Zach Smith, Nick McCootie. McGiff! Augustus McGiff! Alright, I've had enough of this. I'm actually going to start with the three up top. This is the first time we're going to do this intentionally. Ross Stern's going to be on the bench. We are going to start with the three up top. We'll take it off if we feel like we need to... Uh, feel like we need to. But I'm literally just going to take Thompson up here and target forward him. And we're just gonna Segundo Volante Lee Lucas. And we're getting because we get like a full thing of rest. Is Paris finally back? Thank you. I do love Paris. Alright, Paris in for Joe Ling. So you got Joe Ling and the ball. Let's slide this down. So I'm gonna need Warwick. I need a sub. Like if I wanna keep what I've got going on. I need a sub. I need Stern and Warwick and James and then Joe Ling and Ball. Got it. Oh, they're going two strikers. Mom, I'm scared. All right, let's do this. Oh, wait, set pieces. That actually... Hey, shout out to set pieces. They figured it out that time. Here we go. I missed the youth intake. It hasn't happened yet, actually. Weirdly, it's April 7th. We haven't gotten it yet. I don't know when it's supposed to hit. But we have not seen it. When we were supposed to get, like, Wonder Kids. Oh, relative Wonder Kids. <sighs> They're 24th in the form table? Make that count today. Yes. They're the worst team in the league in the form table. I see that. Oh, my goodness. Look at Smith. Look at that hair. Look at that hair on the back line. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. Three points again. Three points again. The youth intake's not in September now. Uh, it could be if you play in a summer league and that could disorient your perception, but it is usually like a month away or two months away from the end of your season. Whenever your season is. When your youth intake's gonna be. You get an advanced warning of it like six months earlier, but that's your general rule of thumb. Nice play, Fulston. Lee Lucas, a lot of confidence in Matthews. Gets the ball up the field. McCudi, that's all we can hope for. He contested. Bad touch. We close down. Why would you clear the ball there, Matty Clark? That's much better, Matty. That's exactly where we want that to go. Oh, uh, didn't like that. I didn't like the way that played. So they... 
got the ball here and then we just chilled let's have a a close down let's trigger our press off their two central attacking midfielders I don't want them to give I don't want to give them time to get their wing backs involved in the play so if we can get out to them earlier we should stop that right that a boy Lucas Oh, yes. Let's go, Fulston. Oh, it's open. It's open. McGiff's on. Long run. Hold your nerve, Augustus. Oh, has he? Oh, baby. He loves a little dink. America for spacious skies and amber waves of McGiff. A purple mountain majesties. I forgot the song. I haven't been in elementary school in a while. Close enough. McGiff's in it, though. I do remember that. Yeah! The United States of America. Yeah! Let's go. Augustus McGiff. Hey, you know, all, all I'm saying is I went into this saying we needed probably five wins out of six matches we're doing it we're looking good thompson oh mccooty he was off that's why he missed he knew he was offside trying to give them a false sense of confidence there we go smith there we go smith oh yeah thompson like they just don't have the backline discipline at this level to be able to defend three strikers I, that's why I think this is going to be so effective. Fulston. Oh, Thompson! Max Thompson! Oh. Let's go! Hey, what's up, Ronaldo? Welcome to the street. Everybody say hi to Ronaldo's coming over from the YouTube. Just watched the World Cup series. We are preparing for the World Cup by trying to get promoted from the sixth division of England in football manager. We play a lot of football manager here if you didn't pick up on that. But hi, Ronaldo. Oh, let's go, Max Thompson. Oh, Matt, he's not done. Super Max Thompson. Man does not have an attribute over 10 in mental or technical. And he's a force. Matthews, nice. Paris, Kamari Paris, good. Thompson, that's fine. Now lay it, I, you could either run or lay it off to Clark who then hits it over the top, but Zach Smith wants to do it himself. Thompson again. Oh, question, will the streams be uploaded on YouTube? Yeah, don't worry. The live YouTube channel will always have every stream on it eventually. It's just a little behind right now. Getting those edits done, getting those everything set the way we like. Probably two days this series will start on the live channel. What a punt. Max Thompson. Sure, bud. <laughs> Look, Max, I'm all for you being great, but you got to know what you're good at and you have to know what you're not good at. You're not good with your feet, Max. You got to know that. Do not volley. Ever. Listen to me, Max. Look at me, Max. There you go. Try and head it. That's what we want. Is that dude's name Sexstone? Where do these names come from? Thompson. Smith. Oh. Oh, Thompson. McCooney. Oh. It's Nick McCooty, who has scored for Taunton Town 3 0. The leading goal getter for the Peacocks is at it again. My heavens. What a beautiful man. Well, uh, 3 0 away to Bass City at halftime. Yeah, I think we're doing okay. 
I think we are doing okay. Ooh, a little, little far, a little far. Yeah, I know. I, I was trying. I was doing the math on that. The math. I think all, all three of our strikers have a goal in the first half. And the debut of the three striker setup is a full time thing. Like the teams we are playing don't have the quality to consistently exploit us with three strikers up the field. And they don't have the backline discipline to just be able to stop three at the back. Bycroft, what in the world? Paris, beautiful. See, like, if we just play really direct and we just give those guys a chance, anytime we win the ball, it is a five alarm fire on the back line for them. Anybody but Sexstone, please. <laughs> what are your game settings? Boom. One over normal on match speed feels the most realistic to me. Sideline at the lowest camera height. Zoom in as much as you feel comfortable. Makes you feel like you're in the match, but it also gives you a nice tactical view. Oh, Augustus. Yo. Mine. 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 Oh, wow. Fulston. That was a cheeky little delivery. And McGifson. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Oh. I'd like a little push chip from McGiff with the left. Mm. Love these wasabi peas. More strikers, more goals equals tactical masterclass. Hey, you just summed up Alex Ferguson's entire career. Hold on. Sub. Who who wants a sub? Zach looks like you do. And Lee Lucas for Lloyd James. Oh, Paris. He's left footed. He's never going to shoot that. I kind of wanted him to, though. I don't know why. It's a bad idea. I can't believe you're humiliating. I'm sorry. I apologize to Bath. We really aren't three goals better than them. We've just been incredibly incisive with the chances we've been given. And we've created good chances, and, and they haven't, honestly. Bonnell. Come on, Paris. Follow that ball, Paris. Run, Kamari. Run, Kamari. Dang it, Kamari, run. Why are you not running, Kamari? I specifically requested it. What in the world was any of the defense that was just happening there? That was atrocious. All right, so we win this. Four matches left. We win those four. I think we would have it. We need somebody to beat Braintree, though. That's the team I'm worried might not come back to us. If we win the next four matches after this. Oh, the Lord James! Dang it. If we win uh, the next four matches, I'm confident Oxford City and haven't Waterloo will slip up. But Braintree's, like, clearly the best team in the league. Even though we did just draw them away. Oh, will you get out of here with that nonsense? I think we're okay. Many games, 20 seconds left. Uh, a little sleepy, a little sleepy defensively. Oh, now you guys feel like creating a chance again? Come on. <laughs> there goes the clean sheet bonus. You're acting like most of these guys are getting paid clean sheet bonuses in the first place. They're not. Yeah, pretty sleepy from us after, honestly, second half. We were, in a, we were in a good spot after the first half. Whatever. Good win. Good win. I'm very happy. Four matches to go. Four matches to go. And please tell me we've gained on Haven't Waterlooville. We've gained... Oh, we gained on both. Haven't Waterlooville lost. Oxford City drew. We're in second, but Braintree won. Dude. They are... They are... Pu oh, 95th! Are you kidding me? Oh. 
Oh, it's almost perfect. They almost all dropped points. They were down 2 nothing at halftime. Oh, they're losing their mind right now. I would be. They were down 2 nothing at halftime and won it in the 95th minute. So we're still five points off them. We have the tiebreaker on them. We just need... We need a loss and a draw. We need a loss and a draw in their last five, their last four matches. And I don't know if we're going to get that, but we have jumped up to second. <sighs> Dang, dude. Everybody, everybody, no, Kai Knight. I should have remembered that. It's always Kai. Come on, just stay up, will you? There you go. Shoot, Slough Town. Oh no, Wannell's gonna be too tired. Cause we just have a, we have a quick turnaround to Slough. Do we have any other quick turnarounds for the rest of the year? No, this is the last one. Okay, promotion hopefuls get set for a run. We are clinched in a playoff spot. We were projected to finish in 23rd. We are currently in second, so I would take that as a win. We have the same number of wins as Braintree. They've just lost less than we have. Goals for and against are actually very even. And if we take a look at the data hub and take a look at the SG table, are we getting lucky? Yes. We are plus 13 unexpected points. Well, it's better to be lucky than good. We're supposed to be fifth. By how much? We're supposed to... I mean, we could... We're, we're 0.04. No, we're 0.4 away in expected points from being projected third. Oxford City's the team that's getting screwed. And there's no argument Braintree's the best team in the league. But you know when that doesn't matter? When it comes down to four games. That's when that doesn't matter. Do you ought to make your um, opposition instructions so that no matter who subs into that spot, it applies as well? You used to be able to lock. Didn't you used to be able to lock? Oh, yeah, right here. All players featured in that position. You just take it over that way. It used to look different, but that's the same thing. You ever use a mentoring tab? Absolutely. There's just no mentoring to be had here. But like, it, the, if you watch the end of the Dorfers save for FM22, we did a lot of mentoring. <sighs> Slow town. Slow town. What's up, Slow town? You ready to lose? That's what I thought, Slow town. At home, Slough Town, three points. We want to make it interesting. We got to keep it interesting. We have to keep it spicy for Braintree. We have to keep it particularly spicy. Same three guys. Wannell literally can't play. Where's Kamani Hunter? Wannell is the last match of the year that he has to sit out, but he literally cannot play. Fulston and Wannell will be on the bench. I really don't foresee putting Wannell in. The only uh, instance that we would do that is like an injury. Fulston, Ling, Lloyd James. No Stern today. Higher line. Yeah, let's do it. Kaimani Hunter. The big lad Kaimani Hunter. Money. Yeah, we're a semi-professional team. We're in the sixth division, to be fair. Pick up where you left off last time out. At home against Slough Town. Four matches left in the season. Four matches left in the season. We win all four. We've got a chance. <sighs> 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 
This is our first season. We were projected to get relegated and finish in 23rd. We are second. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, boys. This wild front three, somehow Max Thompson's worked his way into being an every game starter. Never saw that being a possibility, but he works well in concert with the lads. Oh, and it bounces over him. How's that ball gone in? Clark. It's not a bad effort. Mainly what you're looking for on shots from that distance is the rebound. Force him into an ugly save so that the ball just pops right to you. We have a goal score. Oh, yes. We have a tall team. Oh, it was a good ball towards Thompson, too. Nice touch, Zach Smith. Oh, my goodness. Zach Smith. Pit! Ref! What a play by Zach Smith! What a play by Zach Smith! Can you bring up the uh, league table? Yeah, I'll bring it up here. Bring the dugout down there. But that's the league table. Oh my goodness. Zach Smith, that was brilliant. Now, Lee Lloyd James is not on the field, which means our kick taker is Nick McCootie. I'm gonna switch it to Augustus McGiff. McCootie's 0 for 2 this year. I want, I want it to be Augustus McGiff. He's got much better composure. And I feel like that is what this moment requires. Augustus McGiff. I mean, we didn't have anybody on the field that had converted a penalty all season. So I, I think I was between a rock and a hard place there. But that was a particularly awful penalty. And it will be McCootie if we get another one in this game. But wow. McCootie... 0 for 2, and he missed the target in his last one. Leloy James is our usual guy. But he's not on the field right now in this rotation, really. That's a shame. That was a great play by Zach Smith. Well, that would have been gravy, but now we got to do it the hard way because we didn't get the gravy. Step. Good. Oh, Zach Smith is on one. What a play. McCooney! Oh, dude, what an attempt. Oh. What an attempt by McCutie. Stay on it. Stay on it. This is a, a firecracker start against Slough Town. Harris, I mean, this has got to fall for somebody, and it did. Who was that? That doesn't look like McC It is McCutie. He's looking slim. Is he on? I mean, he's pushed wide anyways, but yeah, he was off. Okay. Good defense, good save. Nice, Clark. Good ball. Oh, McCootie, well done. Clark just keeps it going. Yeah, we can keep the pressure on. Even when one of those forwards drops in, Smith. It's got Max Thompson! And it's McGiff, it has to be, and he's onside! <laughs> Redemption served on a silver platter for Augustus McGiff with the easiest goal of his life. He didn't need to outside foot this, but he did anyways because he's a man of flair and substance. He might have even been trying to paninka that penalty, I don't even know. The outside foots it in, just skips it in. What's our penalty conversion rate this season? Uh, it's either at or under 50%. People that aren't Lloyd James are 0 for 3. Lloyd James, I think, is like 5 of 8. Something like that. He's not great. Oh, it skips free! Augustus! Oh! <coughs> Dude. Got a little wasabi pee in the throat there. Dude. Augustus could have buried this game. Gonna have a hat trick. He, he, and normally he's a cheeky, like chip finish guy, but he went for all power there. Bring it down. Nice. 
That was an intriguing play. Don't hate that. Kamani Hunter's terrible with the ball, so just up the field. Anywhere will do. We have three strikers up there. Lofted ball to Thompson. Oh, and it falls for Augustus. That was bold. When you're not in form to have a swing like that. Okay, we could really use a second goal here. Kaimani Hunter! Our 17 jumping reach secret weapon delivers his first goal of the season. Thank you, Kaimani. Oh, oh, Thompson, dang it. Oh yes, Lee Lucas, Lee! Boy, has he been in form. That's why Lee Lloyd James is not in the field because Lee Lucas is in such fine form. Okay, Matty Clark with the delivery. Shoot it. Oh, he didn't. Was that on? Oh my goodness, it was! Beautiful direct Route 1 stuff. Nick McCooty. Fit, thank you for the tier 2. Well, we're doing it. We're doing it, boys. Lee Lucas up to Max Thompson. Heads it into a troubling area. McCooty throws himself at it. Nick McCooty. The quintessential peacock. He's making his late charge for the golden boot here. Oh, great ball. Augustus McGiff. Oh, dude, he is. God, this could be five, six, nothing right now. This could be five to five or six to nothing. Um, chilling in for, or yeah, let me, let me, Lilo James. Let me get a little Jay Fulston. Let me get a little Joe Ling. Joe Ling, Joe Ling, Joe Ling, Joe Ling. I'm begging you, please don't tackle my man. Joe Ling. Joling, Joling, Joling. I'm begging you don't tackle him because you can. Had it. Makuti. Oh, it's still breaking for Nick. He's unstoppable. Oh. Just powering through challenge after challenge. Well, I think we got this one in the bag. Just killed off a good portion of the rest of it. Come on, Kaimani. You have 17 jumping reach. Nobody in this league should be able to get near you. Oh, nice play, Thompson. He really, he, he does the dirty work. McCooty, what a combination. McGiff has like 12 shots in this game. Every shot that doesn't go in, you know Augustus McGiff is behind it. Matthews! Three matches, three wins. We ordered it up. This is what we're delivering at home against Slough Town. Quick turnaround. No Jake Wannell in the team. Beautifully done. <sighs> Brain Tree won. Again, they went behind and they came back to win it again. Oxford City won. Haven't Waterlooville fell off. They had a draw. A multi red card game, Oxford. Oh, dude, Oxford City. Second half explosion. Well, that doesn't really matter. We're looking ahead. We're looking up the table, and now it's three matches, and we need them to drop points in two, and one of them has to be a loss. And Braintree 
We're making it. Oh, really? This is my this is my world class intake that we just got. Are you kidding me? I'll sign Donovan Craney and the rest of you guys can rot. I don't feel like spending the money. I if the money could be better spent elsewhere. Although I do see a Tanzanian guy there. Oh, that was so bad. That was so bad. Ashodi, Tom Sams, Kai Knight, Jaden Young, Lloyd Irish, Ben Bailey. You guys are out of the rotation of the team. I'd love for you to grab a friendly, get on the field. Get a load of, look at all those chickens. Load all those wonder kids, man. So they might want no money. The first guy did. Bezos bucks. And if they do want money, I'm not gonna. Yeah, see, they want money. I'm not. I'm not paying those guys. Those guys probably will never collect a steady paycheck in their careers. I'm, I'm gonna sign up the one guy. And that's it. to brain tree play i prefer not to look we got to take care of our business or it really doesn't matter and dulwich hamlet is not an easy team to play and dulwich hamlet's not an easy team to play our dynamics on our team are exceptional so we are we are buzzing we've just got to keep that going Oh, okay. Dola Chamlet. Stretch it out. Big match. Tough match. Got to keep pressure on Braintree. Oh, wait. National League South Player of the Year. And my goodness, Jake Wanna looks like he might be the favorite. I'll vote for Danny Mills. You know, I vote for the, I vote for the honest candidate. That's the honest candidate, but we do actually... Nick McCootie's on the list as well with his 25 league goals. But I didn't know Jake Wannell was like the... Him and Danny Mills are the two favorites, but I vote honestly, so... If you, if you win the award, you better actually go out and win the award. How is Matthews still tired? That stinks. Well, guess what? He's still playing this game, so Jake Wannell's there, Kaimani Hunter... Will come in at some point, perhaps for Matthews, Fulston, Clark, Paris, Lucas, Smith, Thompson, McCoody, McGiff. I believe. Yep, we're gonna need Hunter on that bench. Are they playing? Oh, a seven and three, but a seven and three wide. I think we're good. I think we're very okay. I think what we need to do is close down those midfielders. So what we will do is these two guys right here, we'll actually turn that on, which I really should have thought of earlier because that is very smart. We're not going to mark Danny Mills. We're going to close those two guys down to prevent them from advancing up the field comfortably. All right. Three matches left. We need Braintree to lose and draw over the last three matches of the season, and we need to deliver the wins. We need to deliver the wins. Rain Tree is a very good team. It would be our honor to displace them. Now, Dolich Hamlet's playing for all the marbles. They're playing to get into the playoff. Pack stand. That's what it's all about right here. Three matches to go. We've, we've ripped off an incredible run of form. Draw away to Brain Tree. Three straight wins and some tough matches. We found a, a system that works eventually with Thompson. 
We just got to keep it up. I think at this level, this is just perfect. This is what we need. Oh, uh, Matthews. Thank you, Clark. Way to get that ball out. Actually, good job by our defense to step forward. Fulston, can you just head it out? I mean, my goodness. Just head it out of play. Who am I playing against? What is this? The ball never hit the ground. It's good work, though. Good work. Yeah, this uh, pressing system's working pretty well. They can't advance the ball without just hitting it over the top. Nice, one. Oh, McGiff, that was so good. That was such a good play. And McCooty battling, battling. Look at Nick McCooty holding off their ball winner. All right, Fulston. I, have, I've, I don't know if I've ever seen Fulston be that aggressive, and maybe he shouldn't have been. What? <sighs> Tito, thank you for the four months. Matthews, there you go. Thompson, is he even onside? I don't know. Lee Lucas, he is. It's McCooney. Oh, you! It's so rare to see him miss an opportunity like that. I think Braintree are losing right now. I think they are, but then again, they've been behind in like their last couple of matches, and they find a way. So. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thompson, beautiful. Oh, yes. Force the mistake. Thompson. Oh, what a pass. Ref. Oh, my God. Who's going to take it? McCooty. I said it would be McCooty. It is McCooty. It's McCooty. I can't put my gift back up there, and nobody else in the team is even close to being able to take it. It's McCooty. Zach's, what a pass by Thompson. And Zach Smith is a problem when he has the ball. He's our best running player. Nick McCooty. Yes! Finally! 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 We score a penalty. Nick McCooty sends him the wrong way. Oh, finally. McCooty, yes, Paris. Matthews. McCooty, oh, yo, he was there. His name popped up. I thought we had it. Oh, on that, Fulston. Come on, Fulston. Run, Fulston. Run, Fulston. Good. Allows our center backs to get back into position, and I am okay with a header from there. I am okay with that. Keep it ugly. Keep it ugly. Let's go, baby. Good. All right. Way to battle. Keep fighting. Fulston. Oh, what a hit. What a hit, son. A decent free kick taker, honestly. McGiff. McGiff. You know, Clark. Oh, my goodness, Clark. Matty Clark. Lee Lucas. Boy Wannell. Good confidence. Potential player of the year in the division, Jake Wannell. Oh, nice ball. Oh my goodness! It's Nick McCooney! It's Nick McCooney! Oh! He's dancing it out! The keeper misreads the ball in the rain, and Nick McCooney seizes his opportunity. Osagi. Disaster at the back for Dolan Hamlet. And Nick McCooney's the hero. <sighs> oh, Matthews. No reason, Matthews. All right. You know, it's been a while, Bycroft. It's been a long while. 
Let's go! Yeah! Yeah! Wow! Everything's going our way, man. Everything is going our way. They get a huge chance on a penalty right at the half. It wasn't like a tactical breakdown, just a foot in from Matthews. And their striker, Danny Mills, is one of the best strikers in the league. And uh, we hit it right down the middle. Bycroft stood his ground. He has been so huge all year. Oh, let's go. And Nick McCoody showing up with a brace. Nice work, Waddle. That's potential league player of the year, locking up Danny Mills. McCoots did enough. Harris is there, Lee Lucas. It's nice, and then we send it. Oh, that was a little far, Matthews. Just a little far. Although the ball is really stopping on a wet pitch. That's what got Osagi on that one long ball. Oh, we're there, Waddle. Well done. Clark. It's a good quick ball up. Don't know why we weren't going for it more. Come on, McCoody's on this one. Nick McCoody's on this one. Oh, the hat trick's off the post. He is so good sometimes. Yeah, he's so good. Oh, Nick McCoody. What a leader. Setting the tone with the right energy. Oh, nice play, Lee Lucas. Keeping them under pressure. Harris, Thompson, smart, and now we just look for the ball up. Now, we, 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 you can just send it, Matthews, just send it. McCooty, Paris. Okay, Paris. All right. Okay. Dude, Oxford City is actually keeping their hat in the race, too. This is going to be a crazy finish. His brain tree is slipping right now. And Oxford City and us are winning. Falston. Oh, what a ball to Zach Smith. Solid save. Matthews, Lee Lucas. That's a corner. <sighs> a loss for Braintree means that we just need them to draw one of their last two matches. And then if we win both of ours, we could win the whole thing. Win the trophy and go up to the National League. Which would be the highest taunt in town has ever been. Oh, he's on. Oh, that was the best chance they've had all game. Outside of the pen, obviously. Uh, Matthews, you're off. Kaimani Hunter, you are in. And Augustus McGiff, you are off for Harry Warwick. Two performance subs. Work's been fun on the left of this front three. On that. Oh, yes. Kaimani Hunter. What a play. Gets it up to McCoody. He's got options in the middle here. He fought. Oh, no. He should have gone to Warwick, but it was a tough pass. Smith. Lee Lucas. Corner. Stop. Actually, yeah, hold on. It should be Wannell and Kaimani Hunter. And then you there. Jake Wannell and Kaimani Hunter should be the tandem. Oh, really? Got rid of the chance. Oh boy, Wannell. I mean, I'll give that shot up all day, but that was a scary looking hit. They literally have not counted the penalty in XG for like their XG. They just haven't counted the penalty. Have you noticed that? Like it happened too close to the half for it to register and they just haven't counted it. They have 0.3 XG, which is in its entirety less than the value of a penalty at 0.74. Oh boy, Paris. Clark just keeps running. 
Gives Warwick a chance to keep running, but he didn't take it. Oh, he's keeping it. He's, uh, he had to block that cross, so that was a goal. Thank you, bye, Croft. All right. <sighs> Woo! What a hit! What a touch by Warwick. Able to bring that in. Makuti! It is fun to watch Bycroft with his deliveries sometimes. He's just an excellent goalkeeper. Let's go, baby. Two matches left. Two matches. That's all we need. Two matches. It's official. No crazy comeback. Oxford City wins away to Dover Athletic. Haven't Waterlooville Town keep them. Haven't Waterlooville keep themselves in it with a win. Eastbourne Burroughs technically still alive with a win. And Braintree lose 2 0 away to Worthing. A mid table opponent topples Braintree. And now. Three teams within two points to the top of the league with two matches to play. And now we play Worthing. Well, you got to prove it, you know? You got to prove it. And Worthing just did what many people thought was impossible, took points off Braintree. Are you standing up? I am, yeah. It's a standing desk, and this is uh this is an important stretch run. This is worth standing up for. Hi, right, Worthing. Breathe. Just breathe. Just breathe. Just breathe. It seemed oh so far away a few matches ago, and now it's right in front of us. Absolutely all to play for. Madness on hand. We are at home against Worthing. I'd rather be at home. We've all we've played really well at home all year. We got the intake. It's terrible. Won't won't help us out at all. We signed one player from it. Extend the goalkeeper loan. We already asked. They're not interested. Yeah, Bycroft isn't ours. He's a loan in from Southampton. All right. Like it's about the club, you know? Yeah, we're going to lose Bycroft, but maybe if we get promoted, maybe they'll want to loan him here. I, I don't know. But generally, teams don't want to loan to semi-pro outfits, so. That's just generally the experience. Oh, don't tell me that. Don't tell me you're going to glitch out on every one of these. There you go. It's weird it happened twice in a row, but we're good now. 
was filthy Lucas too. Look at that. Look at that. From poor and poor and average, we have pulled up an excellent atmosphere, some brilliant team understanding and cohesion. Everybody's fit. Last two matches, we get a full week of rest going into them. Joe Ling, Harry Warwick, Lloyd James, Dan Ball, Kimani Hunter. Kimani Hunter. <sighs> yeah, this is the team out there. This is the team that I trust to go get the job done. They're playing a 4-3-3. Well, you know what? We aren't. Body of the bathroom. Big moments. You ready? Because we are. Let's get it. Willie Yodel, thank you for the six months. After 44 matches, we're on the cusp. After 44 matches, we're on the cusp. Go, baby. At home against Worthing. I said we might need to win five or six of these matches. It looks like we're going to need to win all six. And we need Braintree to slip up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's go. Two matches left, three teams within two points of the automatic promotion spot in league championship. Thompson, oh, oh, what a start! Max Thompson in seconds! Totten Town, Lee Lucas to Max Thompson and the big lad who joined in January. With a massive goal. But at the moment, that's Totten top of the league. That's wide. Thank goodness. All right. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Brain tree scored. Fair enough. Get in. What? Oh, yo. Uh, nice header, Thompson. Zach Smith. Oy. Good energy from the boys, though. Flying around. Zipping all over. Oh, nice. Recall. What a play by Fulston. That was an incredible defensive play. He was caught in a 2v1, and he found a way to pick it off anyways. That's a great hit. Certainly forced them to play on their heels. Zach Smith loves a run. Here he goes. Augustus.
Nice. Mari Paris. Matthews. Got McCooty. He's got McGiff. He's off. Somebody was off. I think it was McCooty. I think McGiff was on, but I think McCooty was off. Yeah. He's offside. A great pass by McCooty, though. I mean, Braintree's playing Eastbourne Borough, but they just took a 2-0 lead in 20 minutes, so that's tricky. Oxford City's losing, so it looks like we might turn it into a two-team final day here. Okay, Zach. Supermax. Matty Clark. Mari Paris. Oh, he's got him. Floats it from a Cody. What a save. Oh, he caught that so well. That was a vicious hit. Oh, good ball. That's just everything that we stand for. Oh, my God. Oh, Waddle. Oh, Waddle. It was there. It's all right. You can go for him. There's no help in the middle right now. That's fine. Oh, great header. I didn't even think of that. I thought he was just going to send it out. By Croft, that's a banger. Good pressure from Thompson. Forces the mistake. Here we go. Back to Smith. Up to Augustus McGiff. And that is a second Taunton Town goal. This team's got the stuff. We got two big lads that battle for everything in Max Thompson and Nick McCoody. Zach Smith is the flare out wide. Augustus McGiff is the glue. <sighs> Beautifully done, boys. Beautifully done. Max Thompson and Augustus McGiff. Doris, thank you for gifting the sub to do to Biting. I appreciate you making somebody's wow. day. Your second gifted. I appreciated the gifted to Waffle Pros as well. Jinx, thanks for the prime. Will Elliott, thank you so much for the prime. Is that a corner? Oh, no, he kept it in. I mean, gift just pushed a dude for no reason. Surprised he didn't get, like, a card or anything for that. Uh, way to keep running, Lee. Good work. All right, McGiff, that's you. Z in the shop. Good work. Very good work. And that was a bad header for Matthews. Oh, he stayed tight to him for too long. Good. Way to stay on your feet. Good work. Hey, valid answer. Welcome to the streams. I'm like, it's, I'm like, I'm glad you're enjoying the World Cup videos. Hopefully you like football manager. Oh, dude. Uh, we're so on it right now. Oh, Oxford City and haven't Waterlooville are playing each other. That's wild. Oxford City needs to win that game or else they're out of contention. Oi. Jake Wannell, nice step. Smith with time and space. Way to run, way to pass. That's beautiful. Augustus McGiff with his 21st goal of the season. <sighs> Chef, thank you so much for gifting a sub. You can feel it too. You can feel the magic. Zach Smith, he's got options. Augustus McGiff is one of them. Such an intelligent player, his movement. Foxy in the box. <sighs> yeah, we don't know the scores of the other matches. We can just see the league table. So we're just, uh, we're playing our game right now. 73rd minute. Maybe a fitness sub or two. I'll have to look into that. Nice play, Smith. Anybody with yellow cards, like, I think I'm going to get Zach Smith off. Well, that's mine. So we want to make sure those guys are available for the last match day of the year. And that is a banger. Um, so the only one is Smith. So let's just go Dan Ball there. Clark steps up. Ball steps back. 
Anybody else tired? Augustus McGiff, I think, and Nick McCooty are tired, so... I'm going to take McCooty off because he doesn't recover as well. So I go Harry Warwick in the middle. So we do have the 3-0 lead, so... And that's over. We're going to take Joe Ling, bring him in from a GIF, bring Joe Ling over here, put him right there. Box to box him. Float around for 10 minutes, brother. Just want to make sure McGiff is okay. We'll try the stagger. I didn't know. The stagger's stupid. The stagger's dumb on these strikers, but it might just work out anyways. Just completely overloading the right side of the field. Falston. I don't hate it. Like you see the results of the other matches, I just don't have them up. All right, well, he beat Worthing. Five out of five there. That's a win we needed. We avoided any things that could have caused us problems. <sighs> Into the final match day where it will be settled. Oxford City won and they are still alive for the league. Oh my goodness. Okay. We have to win. Oxford City has to win and Braintree won 2-1. Eastburn Borough did pull one back. But Braintree holds on for the 2-1 win, and we head into the final match day with us and Oxford City chasing Braintree. What a comeback by Oxford City. They were losing to have it in Waterlooville and turned it around to a 2-1 win to keep them alive for the title and the only automatic promotion spot. We play Kelmsford City away in our final match of the season. The 23rd team in the league. New team record of eight matches unbeaten. Who the brain tree got? I don't know. I do not know. Tell you what, though, only thing that's important in training this week. Is maintaining match sharpness and then attacking movement and defensive shape training to get us ready for Kelmsford City. That's the only thing we can control. Automatic promotion and a league title in the National League South on the line for us right here. <sighs> if we can take care of business against Kelmsford City. Uh, a lot of players have been put on the transfer list. Malachi Napa from Weldstone in the National League. Well, we'll take a look at you. This is, uh, this is a good time for us to get hit by this list. Uh, you are... Oh, he's been set for release. Oh, okay. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of guys on this list that are like that. So we're going to go ahead and create a new short list. Right there. And... Uh, 
I didn't mean to add you to that list, although I do accidentally do that all the time. Harley Hamilton going on to the free list. Aiden Fran... Yeah, I, I was right. It's going to be like everybody that's free listed. Oh, yeah, it's big matches. Never mind. Redbridge having a little fire sale. How are you 40 years old and hate big matches, huh? Is that a special skill set? Well, this is preparing us for next season, but at what level, chat, will we be playing next season? Oh, we're going to need Brain Tree to draw or lose. Oscar Rutherford. Who's Braintree's opponent? We don't, uh, we could know. We'll figure it out on match day. It'll pop up. They'll tell us. Pace and for acceleration, that is painful. This dude's free, he's on a non contract. Ben Margetson, Kitterminster Harriers. Again, with the a lot of these guys don't like big matches, which is why building a team of people that do like big matches can be even more dangerous. Not, not that do, but that just don't actively dislike them. They're going to be a very key for us. Francis Amarty. Currently available and I'd like to be considered for signing. I want to bring you in on trial as soon as possible, Joe Felix. End of contract signing from Dolich Hamlet. Never mind. I didn't look for the big matches. Hatred. And it is there. I actually changed my mind on that. I would like to withdraw my trial offer. I would like to add you to the free shortlist. I don't want to add anybody. No, 
I, I don't want to add anybody to the training ground before this final training session, and he would join the training ground. team meeting we're okay one more day of praise one more day of praise Our moment. Bro, how are you gonna do that to me three times in a row, four times in a row, I'm beginning to think you're just bugged out now, aren't you? Well, that was inefficient time-wise for once. He's working on a patch for that, but they make that screen really hard to edit. Okay. Thank you so much for the gift and stuff. And seeing you on a 12 match losing streak, I feel like crying. It happens, brother. Sometimes you get fired. Even I, I even I get fired. I play this game all the live long day. They play Slough Town. Slough's uh, brain trees away, which is good. We have an easier game. We're away to 23rd. They're away to uh, 14th. Oxford City's away to Bath City. Those are the three teams with a chance. Those are the three teams with a chance. If we win and Braintree does anything but win, we have won the league and gained automatic promotion to the National League. Five morale negatives. What do you, you? You have no issues. You're just not happy, Bycroft. I wish I could help you with that, but that's that's where we are. served you faithfully you reward us 
with victory on this decisive day. OFM Yards, for you know, this team is special and full of heroes. Let's do it. If we may. In the name of Shaw Pinto! Cloud Town. We're away to Chelmsford City. If we win and they do anything but win, we have won the league and we're going up. Chapel, thank you for the eight months. Carl Dente, thank you for the year. Nicholas, thank you for the two. Schleck, thank you for the six. Buffalo, thank you for the two. Kobe, thanks for the 17. Nopo, thanks for the 11. Chef, thanks for the gifted sub. LB1 Kenobi, thanks for the six months. SM, SMF Carl, thank you for the prime. I think I got everybody if I missed you. I do apologize, but you're all, you're all a part of this. Pick up where you left off last time out. I believe in you. I have faith in you make this a special day. Let's make this a special day. Let's do everything we can. Let's do everything we can. Away to Chelmsford City. Look at that form. Look at this team. Look at these people. All 20 of them in the stands. Let's get it. Best goal difference in the league. It's the real champion. Oxford City. There's Braintree and Slotown. Way to get to it. Way to get to it. Where they are, Pycroft. Nice. Thompson. But you got McGiff. He's got Nick McCooney. Of course he does. Oh. Nice play on that. That's fine. Anywhere I'll do. Anywhere I'll do. Anywhere I will do. All good. There you go. There you go. Boy, McCootie. Lee Lucas. Folston. McGiff. Yeah, there's a spot here. There's a spot here for somebody. It's Thompson. Thompson to McCootie. Oh, what a ball from Thompson to give McCootie a chance. There just wasn't a lot of power on it for him to go with a glancer. You know? Oh, yeah, McCooty. Oh, yeah, McCooty. Making moves. Oh, yes. Thank you, Zach Smith. McCooty. 
Lee Lucas, he knows how to pass. Well, that's at least uncomfortable for them. Thompson, Makune! Nick Makune from Max Simpson! Lee Lucas stretching the defense. Thompson makes him play it, picks him clean, and finds Nick Makune. And that, for the moment, has Totten Town up top the league. Braintree and Slowtown are currently scoreless. All right, bye, Croft. By Croft. So we have the run of the we had the run of the game. We get another goal. We got our, our vaunted front line. We have the run of the game. That's a brutal penalty to give up though on a deep free kick. Like tactically, we're getting the chances we want. We're keeping them from getting the chances they want. Every other shot they've had has been really low XG like that. Outside of the pen, I'm just worried. We're not getting a high volume of situations where we have the chance. All right, Paris. Nice pass. Zach Smith. Whoa, yo. Wannell. That works. Colston's there. Brings it under his spell. Wannell. That's fine. We've got a bunch of dudes up the field there just for you to do that. Oh, wow. Wannell's just gone. Wannell just evaporated. Thank goodness Clark's there to keep him on side doing nothing. That was a complete disintegration of the defense. Complete and utter disintegration of the defense. Live and learn. If we could... Oh, that was what we had on the wrong thing. Okay. That was my mistake. That goal was my mistake. We followed Willick inside. Let's get it back. Smith. Lucas. Ah. There we go. Relax, everybody. They're feeling the nerves out there as well, which is understandable. So we need a relaxing team talk. Let's go out there, play our game, find two goals, and win this league, huh? Let's find two goals and win the league. McGiff. McCooty. Ah, Lee. On that one. Oh, Wannell. A lot of spaces we could have kept that ball. We've come out of the half really well on the momentum screen. Yeah, Lee, nice work. Don't like don't like the right back pension in here. Or oh, that's sorry, right wing. Yeah. Yeah. Nice Clark Smith. He's got McCooty. He's got Nick McCooty. Oh, yo, Wannell. Good. Augustus. Feels like the wave is going forward now. <sighs> Play that cross the face. Oh, man. He's running away from the ball. Come on, Wannell. Step in. I mean, I. We, what are you doing, Matthews? Step to him. That was a really stupid looking highlight from us. Nice, Wannell. Smith. Nice. Oh, McCooty, stop running. Yes. Oh, Nick. Bycroft. Ah. Just not at it today defensively. So anybody that's got a particularly poor rating we can get off or we just melting away.
That's fairly simple ball, Wano. All right. Nice, Thompson. Yes. Yes, Makuti. Oh. That was better, though. I'm glad that the energy from the team is still there. Because we started the half really well, so for them to get the first goal of the half was tough. All right, let's just put them under a little match pressure here. Nice. Nicely. Nice, Makuti. Augustus Mc... It's an interesting idea. Wannell. Thank you, Lee Lucas. All right. What are you looking at? Makuti. Great ball from Lee Lucas. All right, Kamari Paris. Yeah. All right, bring it down. Good, now you smack it up the field. Good, Thompson, way to, way to turn the defense. This is where we need to play that ball. Matthews, good work, Lucas. Good ball, Smith, Thompson. Um, no. Right. Loving the constant highlights, the constant pressure. That's good. He was on? I guess so. Ooh, Clark. Nice ball. Testing ball from Matty Clark. Oh, yeah. There you go. Clark up to Thompson. Into the path of McCooney. He's off. both fullback positions. Um, let's take Clark out for Dan Ball. Fullback on support. Fullback on support. You guys don't go crazy. I don't I don't trust you out there right now. Okay, go. Go, lads. It's the same corner play that they like that you can't stop. There's no way for you to stop it because you can't set up a play against it. Good hit by Croft. Very good hit by Croft. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. We've dominated the second half. We gotta go all out for it now. We need three goals. Oh, Lucas. I got Fulston. That's fine. Mama Giff in there. Good. Bycroft's there. Quick. And then up. Yes. Perfect. He's got Thompson. Great hit. Yes. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Finally, we're able to put one of these away. Thank you, Max. Thank you. Finally, we're able to put one of these away. Bycroft to Max Thompson. There's still freaking time in this game. Let's go. Oh, 
Eventually, we just scuttle one in. Their goalkeeper's all over the place, too. Let's go, chat. Buono, McCooty. Anybody up there? Good pass. Make him play it. Good. Fulston. Oh, McGiff. Let's go. Put your hard hat on there. Get in there. Joe Ling. McGiff. Making him play it. Stealing the ball. Augustus. Lee Lucas. Come on! It's there! Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I love Zach Smith, but here we go. Warwick, you're in. Ball, you're up. I was worried we didn't have a third sub, but we do. Utter dominance in the second half. Just absolutely obliterated them this whole half. Come on, let's score a goal. Let's make it interesting. All right, baby, here we go. Five minutes of stoppage time. Love that. Wannell, Warwick, way to contest. Ball, Joe Ling's not a bad passer, Thompson. Holding the ball up, great delivery. McGiff, oh my. Anything else we can throw on, huh? Well, without throwing people out of position. Now, this is uh, this is what we're going to be doing the last five minutes here. Might as well, Joe, huh? Might as well get your butt up there. All right, boys. Falston, McCooty, he may be onside. He was offside anyways, but I'm just glad to know that he hit the post and, you know. <sighs> oh, they're going to score.
Ah, uh, playoffs. Playoffs it is. They actually ended up finishing third. Oxford City drew. Braintree drew as well. It was there. Slowtown did their part. We just lost away to the second worst team in the league. Though I can explain that our defense obviously wasn't good, and even then we we did out XG him anyways. But none of the three teams, literally none of the three teams, won on the last day. Yeah, so we're in the playoff. We're, we're third. I don't know what that means necessarily. I know we have a chance to go up, but I don't know how it works. Playoff first round is... Um, I don't know. Yeah, two through seven go into a playoff, so it's six teams. So I think we enter in the second round. I think we have... Do we? Wow. I think we enter in the second round because we get like a bye from the first round. Bye to the semis. Yeah. All right. Is it one leg or two? Does anybody remember? I'll set my training once I know when we're playing. I don't know when we're playing. I suppose I have to set it, even though I don't know when we're playing. I do know that we're gonna have a training today. Oh. oh. I do know we're gonna have a training today where I don't know where we're playing. It's one leg. All right, cool. We get like home match, and then if it's against Oxford City, we'd have to play away, basically. Head coach of the month. Thanks. None of the three teams won. Just goes to show how important the big matches attribute is. The pressure crushed us. Even then, it's not like we, oh man, we missed so many shots. We hit the post twice in the last couple minutes. But yeah, our defense wasn't good enough. You score two goals, you shouldn't lose. Even then, we should have scored more. I just said I've been at the club a really long time, so the, the, the team's really behind me. That's news to me, man. All right, promotion playoffs. Three times if you count the offside. That's true. FM God, thank you for the prime. Barnaby, thank you so much for the prime. Verm Steiner, thank you for the 27 months. Do 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 So it's Hobbit and Waterlooville against Tonbridge Angels and Eastbourne Borough against Ebb's Fleet. It was the first round. Ta oh baby, look at that extra time. I wanted Tonbridge to win, so I'm glad Hava and Waterlooville is out. I think that means we actually play them. Lloyd James has decided to retire at the end of the season. That's okay with me, boss. Do we not play them? Is that not how this works? I feel like that's how this should work. I'm waiting for the match to appear on my schedule. Ah, oh, these guys have to play, then it'll pop up. Eastbourne Bro and Ebbs Fleet United. And Ebbs Fleet has won three to one. So both the weight teams won. Which is good. I didn't like Haven Waterlooville and Eastbourne Borough. I don't think I ever beat either of those teams. So that's perfectly fine for me. Uh, Lloyd Irish also retiring at this level. Okay, there's the match on the seventh. Oh. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. <laughs> Yes, definitely need to work on our defensive shape. Boy, we were bad at that. I also get a match preview. Oh, it's a perfect day. And we get a full week break and they don't. Chance to send ourselves to the final. Tonbridge Angels. <sighs> Amari Brown and not Kaimani Hunter, but Amari Brown, yeah. Yeah, I don't hate the results that came through.
got to deliver. Got to deliver now. Down to four teams. We're in fabulous form, obviously. Chelmsford notwithstanding. Make the most of it. Why is Warwick down here? I thought he was fine. Let's head the season ends today. We're finishing the season today, gosh darn it. Tonbridge Angels is today. Extra time and penalties after 90 if we need it. All right. Give us the bridge. We already stole the bridge from them. Oxford City hosts Seb's fleet. We host Tonbridge Angels. They're still playing. It's nil-nil. They started an hour before us. Hour and a half before us. But we're the main attraction. Everybody knows Taunton Town's the team to watch. Ling is suspended. What? They carry suspensions. What is all this then? What is that? What is that? Ross Stern, you're immediately into the team, and I quite literally cannot believe I'm saying this. <coughs> no, Dylan Morgan, sorry. Dylan Morgan's in. Laloy James, Dan Ball, Kimani Hunter, Thompson McCuddy McGiff, Stern Lucas, Paris, <sighs> Fulston, Wannell, Matthews, Clark. No Zach Smith due to a ligament injury in his knee. Not a bad one, just a sprain. And we're playing against a 4-3-3 today. It is one match, lads. It is one match for all the marbles here. One match. Take a look at what... Uh, no, oh, my goodness. Was Zach Smith captaining the side all these times, and now he's not available? Kamari Paris is there. James Clark is there. <sighs> Gustus McGiff is there, but he gets nervous. Bycroft doesn't, so I'm going to put Bycroft in there. Let's take a look at our hierarchy and make sure Bycroft isn't at the bottom. He's not. He's in the influential players. That's about as good as we could do. So it's Bycroft. I don't want any of those guys that get nervous. Tonbridge Angels against Taunton Town for a spot in the playoff final and an opportunity to go up to the National League. All the best out there today. Have fun. Encourage. <sighs> Cake or death. Thank you so much for the two months in the prime. Here we go. One leg. We get the home match. Playoff semifinal. Came up three points short of the top of the league. But an incredible 87-point season. Thompson. All right. Why is this guy starting offside? Get on side. Thank you. That's fine. Matthews. Harris. Oh, great ball. Oh, what a punch. How'd that dude get there? I thought McCudi had that. Lee Lucas, the De Bruyne of the National League South. Matthews. Stern. What a ball. Oh, oh what a goal. Augustus McGiff. At full stretch in the playoff semifinal from Ross Stern. Holland esque. 
He didn't show up in the league decider. He showed up in the playoff. Augustus McGiff. Freaking go. What counts as a big match? Sorry, uh, Phantom Bandit, thank you for the $5. Uh-oh. Hey, big, what counts as a big match is what you would count as a big match. Darby's matches that have increased importance, they can tell in the game. There's a reason our whole team was nervous and apprehensive at the halftime talk of that last game when normally if we're losing in that situation, they're not all freaking out. Um, oh my goodness, what a hit. Thank you, Fulston. Lucas. Good ball. McGiff. That's okay. Yeah, I don't think you, you get there. Did his best. Yeah, but, uh, but a big match is anything that the game would really consider a, a, you know, a big match. All the normal things that are more, you know, bigger matches. Now, a match on a Tuesday in the middle of the season that's not a derby is not one. McGiff. McGiff. Now, playoffs are, right? Matches towards the end of the season, they just increase and increase and increase in pressure. Boy, I could use a second here. Makuti. Yes! Oh, dude! Oh, this keeper does not suck. Lucas. Wow, Ebb's fleet in Oxford are in, ex or, uh, in an extra time right now. Oxford scored in the 90th minute to send it to extra time. Oh no, Matthews. Cannot let them beat us over the top like that, Matthews. You've got to be better. You got to be ready for that huge save by the captain, Bycroft. Bycroft. Thank you. Happy with your performance so far. Good. We're keeping it light. We're keeping it happy. Good work, everybody. Good pressure on the goal, particularly in the middle part of that half. Only gave up one chance that worried me. It was right at the end, and we literally made a wholesale tactical change to stop it cannot let that guy leak over the top. So I think he's advanced forwarding from there. Nice. Wha how? I'm literally pausing just to look at something else. And the whistle just came in right as I went to pause. What do you mean? Oh, dude, consecutive matches with this nonsense. Neither one was like earned. All right, Bycroft. Stand on your head, Bycroft. Oh, that's good, Pen. All right. There we go. Dangerous position from us here. McGiff, Lee Lucas, ref, get out of the way. Thank you. Please get out of the way, ref. McGiff. Oh, he's got him. He's got him. Goal! And Nick McCooney scores for Johnson. Nick McCooney from Augustus McGiff. It's the same custom as the McDouble in McDonald's again. McGiff brings it under his spell, finds McCooney who slipped his marker. It was a harsh penalty decision against them, but they have rebounded with a goal. Oh, Lee Lucas. Really? Didn't even want to take a touch? Really explore that open position? <sighs> Kamari Paris. Augustus McGiff. Great first time ball. Thank 
goodness he couldn't control that. Thank goodness we're in the National League South. Uh, let our center backs get back around him because he couldn't get the ball out in front of himself. Oh, goodness. We make a bad play, but then you also make a bad play, so we're back where we started. That sounds good to me. Um, okay. Subs. Uh, Thompson's a 6.5. Let's go Warwick. I know that makes us a little smaller, but I think Warwick could be fun there. Let's actually switch sides. So we'll go McGiff on the right, Harry Warwick on the left. Fulston out for... I don't know. Dan Ball's anxious. That makes me anxious. I think everybody else is okay. I'm just watching fitness. I'll make two fitness subs later in this game. But it is a one goal game with our entire season on the line right now. So I'm not going to be too cavalier switching things up. Oh, Stern! Oh, Stern! With his second goal of the year! And Todd leads by two! It's so often the other way around. And Tottentown leads by two. Oh, come on, Warwick. Stern. Ross Stern, he's feeling it. <sighs> Subs. Sub. All right, now I feel comfortable doing that. And I feel comfortable doing that fitness subs because I'm assuming this last match is going to be pretty close if we can get there. Um, okay, Harry Warwick. Warwick. They are in switched uniforms. Why are they in switched uniforms? Their uniform glitch is here. Matthews. Clark. McGiff. Oh, McGiff breaking forward. We've dominated the second half. <sighs> One for the road. Kaimani Hunter's up there. Matthews? Not what he was expecting. Lee Lucas? Kaimani Hunter? Somebody? Wow, the ball actually fell. Clark, Clark up again. McCoody's got to be offside. He's not. He is. Flags up. Okay. Uh, Lee Lucas. Nice. Warwick. Ball. Oh, nice ball. Good press, come on. Positionally it was, there just wasn't any energy to actually close him down at the end. Definitely could have taken that ball away. Okay, Clark, you do know somebody else's job is to do that, right? That works, McCooty. Oh, one glance and we were in. Nice hit. Oh, no. Yes, Paris. Warwick. Lucas. McCooney! He's offside. Oh, the Sally. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, he's offside. We're under threat from the Shadow Realm. That was a great finish. Oh. He's on. He's literally onside. That foot is like, I mean, what are these lines? What a battler. He just sticks his nose into everything. <sighs> oh. 
overcame a weak pin. 3-1 at home against Tonbridge. Playoff finals up next. One more, baby. One more. One more. Oxford City scored in the 90th minute and won it on pens. So it will be the second and third team in the league, the two teams that had a chance to win it on the final day. Yeah, we're giving him the injection just so we can bring him off the bench. If need be. I mean, it is the last match of the season no matter what happens. Wait, I can train? The whole week? Oh, yes! Wait, that actually concerns me. I'm a little worried that this change in intensity will, like, mess with them physically. But everybody, everybody take the week off work right now. Everybody take the week off work right now. Up the Taunton. No! It just showed it to us and glitch. No! No! Oh, I wanted it. I wanted it so bad that I just knew it wasn't going to happen. Yeah, I just knew it. I knew it wasn't going to happen. I knew it wasn't going to happen. Hey, Shirker. Thanks for the rain. I hope you had a great stream. We're in the playoff final. Welcome. Us in Oxford City. After all three teams that could have won the league in the final day failed to win, giving Braintree the title. We had our shot at automatic. We have rebounded and won the playoff semifinal against Tonbridge. <sighs> the carpentry needs to be done. Promotion's not the priority for these lads. It should be. We get a nice spell of rest. Hopefully that means everybody's okay for Oxford City. Warwick's getting an injection so he can play in the game. Don't care what it costs, but he's our number one sub forward. He's gotta be available. Playoff final, neutral grounds. Don't know where we're playing, but uh, should be able to find out here. Look at that. Oh, I can't believe Chelmsford City got us. All right. Um. The National League playoff final. How can I figure this out? Thank you. Appreciate that. Did it say Wembley? Oh, I guess it will tell us. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. We are playing at Wembley. I could have just read my inbox. It literally says it. Oh, dude. Big match at Wembley Stadium. All right. Awesome. No, I'm, I'm, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in those coaching meetings. I We were supposed to finish 23rd out of 24 teams. I don't. Um, I have no idea what my team expects out of this match. I know what I expect. I expect to win. Does your training guide from FM22 work on this FM? Yeah, it seems that they haven't really touched training, so I would trust it. Oh, Joe Ling is back. Let's go. Thank you, Joe Ling, for reappearing after your, your uh, suspension. <sighs> All right, Warwick's got his injection. Joe Ling's back. Ball, Hunter, Ling, James, Warwick is the bench. The lineup, Bycroft, Clark, Matthews, Wannell, Fulston, Paris, Lucas, Stern, Thompson, McCooty, McGiff. We're missing Zach Smith due to an injury he picked up in the last match of the season. Oh, they're playing very simply. Okay, that's perfect for me. I love it.
So peacetakers will set this up completely here, so. Uh, from the left side, it's Clark. From the right side, it's Fulston. Lloyd James has taken both ahead of them, and he's a guy that could end up on the field, so. Worth mentioning. Yep. And I'm bending it in there. Oh, yeah. Give me the song, baby! Give me the song! Let him know it's a huge match! Give me the song! Chat! Are you ready for the National League South? Playoff! Do it. We owe them, apparently. <sighs> at Wembley. Taunton Town playing at Wembley for the first time ever. It's absolutely packed. And the National League South promotion playoff final. Herbino, thank you so much for the prime. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, Paris, good luck. start promising start mostly highlights and pressure from us in this hallowed ground stern oh mccuti and dijinsky again having a go at each other Wannell all over it, all day long. Thompson, oh, a little late, a little late. It's okay, Thompson, great hustle. Great hustle by Thompson. That wins us that ball. Clark, just keep looking, keep looking for those runs. Any of those guys over the top? Lee Lucas, Thompson. Oh, what a ball. Oh, it's Augustus McGiff. It's tight, of course it's tight. It's always gonna be tight. Hey, we're there. Easy, Bycroft. Easy. Oh, that's the point. That's the point. Just a bit high. Hard to be critical of a punt that dangerous. You're there. That's okay. Really well contested header. Not worried about that. 
Oh my goodness, Wano. Wano and Makuti. It's the entire opposition team in the way. Thompson, Thompson. Okay, okay, I don't hate that half. I'm not gonna change anything. I'm not gonna inspire them, but I am gonna say that. Like, if we can dig in, this result could be ours. Wasn't a bad, it was a pretty tepid half. Couple of nearly like, ooh, you know, but no actually big chances. Like it nearly broke for us here or there. Good boy, Maddie Clark. Not a boy, Matthews. Ah. See a little more length on that, Matthews. Oh, Lucas, huge play there. Waddle. Okay. Fulston, good step. You cover, cover, cover. That's all right. We had that. It's good. Good. Matthews. So I just take away the cross. That's fine. <sighs> they called it on a some sort of body block that we threw in the middle, apparently. All right, Bycroft. All right, Bycroft. Big hands, Bycroft. Big hands. Oh! Whew. Good pen. I don't think there's that many people there, FM, but I appreciate it. Fulston, rebound. Woo! Here we go, McCutty. Nice play. All right, Nick. You're going to have to bring this down. Yep, Thompson. Thompson, really? Really, Max? All right, boys. We know there's goals in this game for us. We need them now. That's the right ball. That's the right ball from Waddle. Keep them under pressure the whole time. Now step into this, Waddle. Yes, Paris. Very nice. Oh, that was so good. Forwards weren't even ready for that. Do it again. Well, he did, but he missed our guys this time. Nice, Clark. That was the best luck they'd had. Now oh, you're gonna get beat by that Waddle. Nice block. Get there. You're gonna get beat by that Waddle. Uh, Fulson's on six point two off. Matthews on six point four off. Um, Stern. I want to put Lang in, but Paris actually playing, he's not playing well. So you know what I'm going to do is, oh, sorry. Why am I apologizing? We are playing a game. So I'm going to take Kamari Paris and put him back there. I want Ling here because I really like Joe Ling, especially with legs. I want Kamani Hunter, Kaimani Hunter for Matthews. And I want Warwick for Stern. 
and then Warwick goes up here, inside forward support. All right. Come on, Waddle. I'm gonna need you to be sharper than that. I couldn't even tell you what's happening right now or why it's happening or how it makes any sense, but I'm just happy the ball didn't go in. All right, Lee. Your favorite part is here. You get to move up to Metsala. You're there, Bycroft. Yep. Now you gotta wait. You have to wait. This is the only time quick distribution doesn't work. Why are they all backpedaling? Run. Out the field. All right, McGiff. Ooh. Miscommunication. Harris, nice work. Lucas, McGiff. I like where you've popped up, McGiff. Oh, maybe on the rebound, Thompson. That's too far. We've run with him well. Oh, Wannell. Had three guys there. Let's take a little look at our tactic. Um, they're both on attack. Paris is on automatic, which would be on attack in this instance. So we're going to go very attacking. Uh, we're going to mix our crosses. Pick your opportunity. We're going to play further up the field. Press. Prevent short goalkeeper distribution. Counter press when we lose the ball. Um, yep. Pump the ball into the box. Those early crosses and long balls. And let's tie this game up. Playing our style. All right, Bycroft, we both know that wasn't the highlight, so why don't you just... Oh, come on. Hit a ball long, son. And we've absolutely needed it. They've played better than us in the second half. I create another striker. I don't want him running with the ball more. Just want him at Saling. And then you're up there. You're up there. You're up there. Yes. Corners. Everybody now. really just to uh, delay the inevitable, it would seem. We couldn't overcome conceding three penalties in three straight games, dude. Absolutely savage. And then as we started to shift further forward, they got control of the game. But I I mean, look at the XG when they won that penalty, dude. <sighs> one match away from the league in automatic promotion and one match away in the playoff. Yeah, I mean, shoot. That penalty in the, the game against Chelmsford changed everything, and it was off of a deep free kick. We overcame the penalty in the playoff semifinal, but 
obviously the penalty in this game was killer. I, I felt so good about this game up until they got that penalty and then we couldn't overcome the, the pressure that it put on us. And then I, you know, I think maybe we shifted forward too fast. But we were projected to finish 23rd. We finished third and got to the playoff final at Wembley. I mean, obviously, we, we got a new contract from the club. We're A-plus in everything when in, in regards to the club. And uh. Just one moment short. We were one moment short all season, it felt like. And we were one moment short again. I mean, obviously their penalty was really lucky, but. Yeah, I, I don't know if we made the best changes to get what we needed out of this game. As you can tell, after the penalty, we really didn't get anything near what we were getting before. So. I mean, Juan Alada 7.0, I kept yelling his name, but. He really just got beat on one play over the top. <sighs> I ain't gonna put any pressure on him. They played hard, played well. They used a 4-3-3 the whole game. Uh, poacher up top, inversion on the wings. Pretty standard stuff. One goal short. Dang. It's a heck of a run. Oxford said he were too good. That's a stretch. That's a stretch there, assistant coach. Dang. Well, I wish we would be able to go up today. I mean, I was, uh, I felt like we had a chance at it. We just snatched a little bit. I was hoping to celebrate the golden bacon with a promotion, but what a season. Come on, you peacocks. Why does it snap back down? That's why it's snapping away is every time we do it, it snaps back down. All right. Yeah. I mean, we'll have a whole off season to build a better team. Um, I think some favored sons are going to go. Eighty seven points. Eighty seven points. Or just gave us not a lot, but a little increase. All right, chat, I got to go record. Got a couple of vids today. Heritage, thank you so much for the gifted sub. I really do appreciate it. Preserity, thank you for the prime. Um, yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta go record. Hello, look at me spinning in a chair. Let's go. Oh my god, that's so cool. Um. Yeah, we're, there's going to be some changes. There's going to be some changes. Saving it up right now. Obviously, I think we can raise the talent level in a team. I think it's unfortunate. I think we figured out our tactic late on, right? I think the 4-3-3 was really, was banger. Uh, I think the 4-3-3 was a banger. And um, I, I have an idea for the system I want to play next season, but we're going to need to get the right personnel in. Yeah, we're going to need the right personnel in. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, same time, same place. We will begin the process of overcoming that result. But, you know, we, we inspired today. We inspired. We're going to raid. If you've not joined us before, we have the opportunity because there are usually a lot of people here. Uh, we have the opportunity to go make somebody's day. We raid into their stream, you say hey, spam a few things. He brought his bottling curse into the chat when you were about to start the playoffs. He only wants others to join in his misery cafe laugh. That's all right. I don't necessarily look at that as a bottle. You know, like we had an unbelievable win streak to put us in striking distance of the league. 
Uh, you know, then we won the first round of the playoff final and couldn't, you know, we, I shoot, I could count on one hand the number of games we didn't score in all year and we didn't score. So let's uh, find somebody to raid. Um, this person says learning FM. They're learning FM. Well, chat, I feel like we have a collection of people that should be able to help with that. Be nice about it. But it says they're learning FM. All right, uh, get your copy pasta together when we pop into the chat. Be sure to spam your copy pasta everywhere. Blow it up, blow it up. If mods do freak out, be sure to say, hey, it's just a raid. We're all real people. We're just creating some hype, you know? Uh, but pop in, throw that copy pasta down, and then proceed to, hey, how's your stream? How you doing? Um, do you have... <laughs> do you have Messi? Important question to ask. Uh, he's playing his FC Andorra. Or no, he's looking at FC Andorra. Oh, okay. Well, cool. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day. I gotta go record. Peace. Trolls don't have a field day. I get glowing reports from people on Twitter about your excellent behavior. That's not sarcasm. And I do appreciate it. My right, word of the day is... Augur. Auger. A U G U R. The auger is to. Uh, <clears throat> oh, it's a verb. To auger is to show or suggest, especially from omens, that something might happen in the future. Used most often in formal speech or writing, auger is often followed by an adverb, such as well. The downturn augurs badly for the success of the business. This bad news could auger disaster for all of us. I've never heard that word. All right, see you at the end of another stream for another word of the day.